Hello, you guys. How are you all? Thank you guys for being here. I am really excited about getting into these gel calls. I just wanted to come on and say hello to you all really fast. Hey, Nana Banana. Hey, MK. Hey, Hippie Chick. KPM, Pointer Lover, Brandy, Boca Maru, Foxy, Scout for Crying Out Loud. That's a really cute name. Um, Little Red Riding Hood, Mishmash. Let's see. I know, Brandy. I love it. And hello, Brandy. Hey, Michelle, J Jets, Mrs. Bendover, Hippie Chick, Crackdown, Blue. Now I go around singing this song all the time. I know. Hey, Skylab, Kelly B, Place to Be. Um, hey, Clancy, Tiffany, Artemis Prime, Kimberly Wells, Music, Musicity Mom. Hey, Angie RN, Stephanie, Donna. Thank you. Hey, Toby Bird. Crime Watch Lover. Thank you guys for being here. Hey, Becky P, Danny Marie, um, and anybody I missed. Let's see. Hey, Shay Benet. Hey, Cheryl. So, yeah, I'm really excited. We're going to jump into the December jail calls. I was trying to think if there was any, like, housekeeping stuff that I needed to talk to you guys about, and I don't think so. Let me go ahead and bring the girls up. Hold on. Um, that is no, so there's music that Donna, that's like copyright that is, doesn't have a copyright on it so that it can be used for purposes by editors and things like that. People with channels. So that is what that is. It's just, um, like copyright free music that Christine discovered and put with the intro. Really? I can't, it wasn't me at all. That's all Christine. Hey girls. Hello. How are Hello. you? I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, pretty good. Just got done eating dinner. I had a headache and now I think my headache's kind of starting to go away. I'm excited to get into these calls. You guys, I was looking right before we started, which the girls know because I already told them the girls. That's so funny because when you're like, the girls are here. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, there, okay, so Tisha's dad is going to be on some of these calls, or Kenny Ray will be on some of these calls. We also have um, an unknown male, and I'm hoping we'll get to that tonight. We're going to kind of play it by ear. Hey, Melissa Jade. So, yeah, um, you guys have anything before we get started? No, it's just a timing thing. I was, uh, I had just received a comment, I guess, from my live stream earlier, mm -hmm. and, and it just happened right as... <laughs> right as you said that, and it just said, so, with like five or six O's, so much talking. Oh my God. <laughs> like, what did you think it was gonna be? Did, did you think I was gonna play spoons? I don't, <laughs> I'm so anyway. Glad that because actually, this just happened to me yesterday, but just now before the live, I was um, addressing this. So someone left a comment, and this was on the jail file video. And they said, um, can you just please put timestamps for when Letitia speaks? Because I'm so tired of hearing you talk or something like that. And I was like, uh, this is a video of me reading through the files. I'm going to talk the whole live. So if you don't want to hear me talk and you're just looking for <laughs> Letitia, this is not the one. People, Right. Maybe Letitia will get a YouTube channel and then she can go to that one. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Donna. Yeah, definitely. Because people just don't, they, uh, and then yeah. somebody left a comment and they're like, dang, do you just go around and be so rude like this to creators? <laughs> well, it, well, you know, and, and I'm at a point now finally um, where I can laugh at comments like that. So I'm not complaining. My, my, my one remaining feeling is not hurt. Um, <laughs> I just, I just have to laugh. My one remaining feeling. I was just, someone said they were just catching up on the trip replay. My chat jumped. I was going to read it, but, um, thank, oh, hey, Midwest Memo. Hey, everyone. I didn't get to say hi to Punk Z Tess. Um, welcome. Thank you for joining for Crying Out Loud. That's such a cute name. Hey, Queen Olive. Every, like I said, to anybody that I missed, hello. I hope you guys are having a good night. So, yeah, we're going to hear some Kenny Ray. We also have possibly, if we get to it, an unknown male, which if we don't, we'll hear it on June's. So, we'll, uh, tomorrow or whenever we do that. Are we going to do it tomorrow? Yeah, why wouldn't we? Okay. I don't know. I was just checking to make sure. So, hold on. Let me pull up the, the calls. 
We already got them pulled up. I'm excited, so I'm like not really thinking straight. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a day. It's been really rainy and just kind of like. But Bentley's had lots of energy, but he's not been able to go outside. So. Oh, Ooh, and it's been raining here too. I put new nails on. I wanted to show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see them like on the camera, but they're so pretty. Okay, you can kind of see. Oh, not really. Okay, so they're like nudie pink, but they have this shift to them, like this shimmer that change when you move. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm not gonna make it. Not gonna yeah. make it. I can't see it that good, but it's you okay. said nudie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could throw up. That's but okay, Jim. Probably not going to happen. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, crumb crochet and coffee. Like Melissa says it. Coffee. Thank you. Coffee. I can't say it right. I know I can, but I'll, tr I'll try. Do it again, Jen. Coffee. What are you like the master of all the weird accents that we have? No, to try to no, it's just that that's like my stupid human trick. Like I can, I, I'm like a parrot. It's really cool. <laughs> I have no real intelligence. I just mimic. <laughs> no, right. no parrots are actually really smart. That's just so funny because yeah, you can really do just about any um, accent we just draw. about. <laughs> just about sometimes my um like british accents and my australian accents are a little muddled but for the most part i can mimic voices <laughs> that's funny all right it said uh, you guys crack me up um said stephanie never grew up jen i didn't and it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> Give me your nudes again. I love when people You're... spell it that way. I can't help it. I don't. It's so cute. <laughs> like noodles. Okay. Speaking of nails, does anyone here do the pre-cured gel strips? Ooh, I don't know if Melissa does something with gel. I don't know if it's exactly what you're talking oh, about. Oh, like the Sally Hansen ones? She she does like, it's like fake nails, right? I think oh, you even okay. have like a tip, but then you gel, you put the gel polish and then use a light and then gel polish and a light. And then you can like, you, oh. the, mm -hmm, and it hardens. You're like really killing me because now you, it be after the nudes, now it's just the tip. Come on, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just get into the calls. Cause yeah, please. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> okay. 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 You guys. And actually I'll just pin a comment to the top for anybody that, uh, re or, you know, comes in late, they don't start until 10 minutes in and then we'll get started and we'll talk after whatever we hear. Are you ready guys? Okay. Yup. Okay. All right. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? Nothing is just working out. Okay. Yeah. At the house? Mm -hmm. At our gym. Oh, I got you, I got you. Okay, okay. Where are the doggies at home? Mm hmm Are you mad at chance today? Is he okay today? He's been good. He's good. I'm not mad at him anymore. <laughs> not right now. No. I I made them. I started making them sleep in their own cages, separated again, and they've been acting better. That's good. Okay. 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 You what? The car is in the box. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wish I had one. Well, I didn't eat dinner last night, so, like, I'm starving. I'm ready for lunch. Because yeah. they get, like, some kind of bean burger. It's, like, made out of beans. They say it's a religious thing. It says they help you with visions or something. I don't know, but I don't ever eat it. So then I don't eat from, like, lunch. Until oh. breakfast, but then they gave us beans for breakfast. What? Yeah, they gave us beans in a cereal mm -hmm. bar, so I ate the cereal bar. 
but then they gave beans. Like the people that don't get meat get beans. But I don't mm-hmm. get the meat because the meat has onions in it. You see what I'm saying? So I do not meat. And then I was like, wow. raw, like, it has raw onions in it. You know what I mean? So I should get like peanut butter probably at lunch. I've been eating at home every day. I'm proud of myself. Well, that's good. Oh, it's freezing. It's cold here too. It's like thirty. Really? Mm-hmm. Dang. Something must have went wrong somewhere. It's be a huge cold front for it to be thirty there by now, because usually that don't happen in January. I know. I mean, it's, it it's, like it's just it's just been windy. Oh yeah, it won't last like that though. It's like really bad when the dogs have been freaking out. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and go so I can call you again tomorrow so I don't take the whole $3. Okay, I love you. All right, love you too. Tell Sadie and Shasta love you too. Bye. Okay. Hey, wait, hey, wait, 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 hey. Hey. Yeah. Did, um, did Veronica write you back? Um, yeah, she had sent like a little... A gif that said happy Thanksgiving. And she she did answer, hold on. Stupid ad, hold on. And she had, she did reply back to that other, oh my gosh. Hold on, she never had. You said she didn't, she just said happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, but she had replied to the other one saying, I pray she feels better soon. Pray she do better soon. Feels better soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, um, when well, when did she write that back? That day, I think. Oh, did she? Okay, then write her back and tell her that um, to say, hey, can you tell him I talked to KB, and he said, what's up? Can you tell him what? I talked to KB. No, she, she doesn't. No, just say can. You, she said, can you tell him KB wrote me. And he'll know what that means. Okay. All right. And then just say, and um, and Andy came by. Okay. Okay. And he'll know what that means. All right. Love you. Okay. Love you too. All right. Bye. Okay. So first I want to say, um, she obviously has nothing to talk like they have nothing to talk about it's very awkward but it's the things that they do have to talk about is what can you do for me what can you get for me from you know Letitia obviously but like even here why I don't I just don't like like having Harley send these messages and all of that I think that I don't know I just don't like it it's uncomfortable probably not appropriate (laughs) Not probably. It's just not. You know what I mean? That's really my only thoughts with that. They really have. It's it's a very awkward conversation. Not easy to listen to. Doesn't flow very well. They're just kind of sitting there. And um, yeah, that's all. Well, I mean, you're right, Allie, obviously. I mean, it's it's not appropriate. Uh, Letitia doesn't know these people. Um, and it's one thing if you as an adult. And I know that Harley's legally an adult, but come on, she's 18. That's, yeah, legally she's an adult. But it's one thing if you want to involve yourself, you have more life at at Letitia's age, right? She's got life experience and whatever, but Harley doesn't. And um, passing these messages, it's just the, the she'll know what it means seems ominous. And I'm now I'm trying to figure out if that's intentional. If, it does. I agree. If Letitia's trying to get, knowing that these are recorded, knowing that law enforcement can listen to them, right? If she's trying to get them to look at Harley, does that make sense? Or or look at who Harley is talking to, investigate the people that she's speaking to. That's what I wonder yeah, that about. Makes- 
perfect sense. Let me just say really quick. Okay, Christine answered it. Herbin Homestead um, was asking about Christine, and I was going to tell you to email me. It's on the screen, but she's put her website in the chat, and she you should be able to just click the link. And then um, also, Jordan, I'm happy you're here, and I hope you had fun on vacation. Um, but, yeah, that makes perfect sense, Jen, especially because – you know, it kind of goes along with your theory, Curious Jen, of what she's trying to do here with Edwin and, you know, everybody else. Yeah, it's just crazy to me. I mean, if there's a way, Letitia will find it. So she can't talk to him through the toilet anymore. So now she's got her daughter on a texting app, texting his mother uh, cryptic messages. That, I mean, it's just, oh, she's ridiculous. Yeah. She is. All right. Well, the next one is Kenny Ray. Um, let's go ahead and get into that one so we can try to get as far along as we can. And this one is only nine minutes long. And then we're yeah. going to have a long one, a 15 minute one with Harley after that. So on this one with her dad. So she hasn't spoken to her dad at this point since October 14th. And mm -hmm. on that October 14th call, she was playing crazy with the vampires and stuff. So this is the first time she's talked to him since. Oh, okay. I love the little extra tidbits that we get from you. Okay. It's Kenny Ray, Kathy. <laughs> it's exactly how it's said in that hick in the hick tone, which I ain't saying nothing. I'm a hick too. I have no, you know what I mean? That's just that, but okay. Hello. Hi. Hey, David. How you doing? Not good. Well, I, I missed your call. Though. They made me feel so bad when you called. I was trying to match the zero on this thing. Something hung me up, and I never did hear nothing else from you, but I apologize for that. <laughs> I didn't mean it. You sound pretty good today. Uh, maybe, maybe now. Who knows? An hour from now. Who knows tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I could be losing my mind tomorrow. I could be mm. crazy mm. next week. I don't know. Mm. It's the pen. Yeah. Oh. It goes in and out. I try to call people when I'm okay now. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like calling people when I'm not okay. Well, okay. Cause then well, you sound pretty good. So, I mean, you know. crazy, you know. Mm. Are you eating? Uh, like once a day. Once a day? Yeah. Come on now. Well, they have, like, well, I don't eat anything that's white. And so, because I don't eat anything that's white, that means I don't get to eat dinner. Oh. You know, like, and they don't have, like, any, you can't, like, I'm not allowed to buy any, like, pepper or anything like that, so. Okay. I just always give my tray back for dinner or give it away. And then for lunch, I don't eat bread. And then they give a lot of bread, so so I usually eat yeah. like once a day. Yeah. But, have you talked? Have you talked to your mother lately? No. You have. No. Has Harley been talking to you? Yeah, I talk to Harley every day. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or at least every yeah. other day. Yeah. Well, okay. Have you uh? Have they well, got anywhere where they can let you turn and get to talk to you or anything, or not yet? No. I mean, they call me on the phone sometimes, but everybody's still sitting here, like, locked down, basically. Like, nothing's happening. Some people are doing it by video cord, but nobody's really doing anything but just push, putting stuff off for everybody, you know? When I got a, I got a crew us wanted to go there. I said, look, we can't go down there and then they won't let us see her. You know what I'm saying? I said, we get there and they ain't going to let us go in there and see her. They ain't going to let us probably, one probably won't let us be on the screens to talk to one another. So I would just put that on hold. I, I yeah, didn't know. I, uh, this, some lieutenant guy, he's supposed to be checking into it because he said that he don't understand why I've never been allowed any personal visits. So they came last week and said they were working on it but I've also heard that too like five times too so who knows because like most people get uh, personal visits you know yeah, but for yeah some reason, 
they're not letting me because my name is not showing up. Okay, so Dave never gave you a bond hearing, is he? That's the evidence here, and I never did evidence here, no. They call what now? What'd you call it? They call it an evidence here and here. Like they, they don't do bond hearings here like they do back home. Oh, they don't. No, they don't do that kind of stuff here. So I I'm kind of lot. Okay, so you not even. So it's not even a law there that you entitled for a bond? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no. Uh -uh, that's not how it works here. Yeah. I've learned that through this process, they, this state like changes a lot of laws as they go based on this corona. Just mm -hmm. like they're saying that the speedy trial is not applicable right now. Like, okay. nobody, like I know a couple of guys in here who were supposed to have their trial actually started yesterday. But... Um, I can hear them talking through like the cement, you know, yeah. people above me. And they told me that, that there's no such thing as a speedy trial right now. Okay. That all of those constitutional rights don't matter anymore right now. So. Cause I spoke to, to your attorneys, they called me and, uh, yeah. and, uh, they was going to contact to get up with me, but I ain't hear nothing from those cats. I don't know anything. They had not called me back. I actually left them a message and they wouldn't even return my call. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what they're doing, to be honest with you. I mean, I asked for a conflict hearing and I don't, I mean, you're supposed to be entitled to ask for a conflict hearing when there's a conflict and they keep avoiding me and I haven't been granted a conflict hearing. Hmm. Like, yeah. you're, you're supposed to be able to talk to the judge about you know, if there's a conflict going on and there's lots of conflicts. And yeah. I, have, I haven't been able to, like, even get up. You're supposed to go in front of another judge and let them know what conflicts you have mm -hmm. going on with your defense team. But, like, I haven't even done that. And I've asked yeah. the one lady, like, how many times, and they just keep putting me off, like, we'll see what we can do. And then I asked somebody the other day on the phone, and they were just like, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. So I I know you're supposed to because I know this one dude in here asked for one. And he already had his. He did it by WebEx the other day. So I don't know. Yeah. And like the jewels yeah. got better about everything. So I don't understand why it's a problem for them now, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, there's another question I was going to ask you. Uh I got a lady, that's a girl that really knows you real good. She's going to probably be writing you. I sent her, gave you an address and all. She said that she knows you was in school with her. Her name was Sue. I don't know. I can't remember what her last name was. But she wanted to, she wanted to address and all, and I gave it to her and all. She said she knew you real good. But she's going to be writing you. She said she wanted to, uh, she's going to send you a Christmas card or something. I don't know. That was between y'all, okay? Yeah, but I, I did. I don't know if Sue, but I guess I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, she said she knew, she she said she was a couple grades ahead of you, but she said you was a very sweet girl in school. So, so she and when I I asked, I told her you was my daughter, and boy, she broke down. And anyway, she said I know her. Please give me her name, or address, and all. And I did. She yeah. said I will be contacting her. But uh, well, but anyway, the more that people was, praying. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you need, baby. Sure do. I ain't, I, that's more than anything. But everything's so messed up. It's the Chris Crawl mess and all this. Is that everything out of whack? Like I said, our crew ain't gave up on you. They still praying. And, and like I said, they, I had like eight of us wanting to go there. I said, no, nah, we can't go out there and waste that 17 on the line. We can't go there and eat a little cedar. I'm saying, I, I want those folks there in Colorado to know that you've got a family. I know that, but I mean, I don't. Understand this, crazy you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a very, it's a very different culture out here. <laughs> um, you know, different people, different, different, di way different. It's like little California, basically. They want to be like California so much, so they're they're, they're like California. Yeah. You know, so they don't. You got any? You got any friends in there, or what? Maybe. Um, I don't talk to the girls like that. I talk to the guys. Because, you know, you can't trust girls. But, like, I, uh, I talk to the guys through, um, because they're above me. So, you know, they can just be talking in a room and you can hear everything they're saying. 
So we yeah. just talked like that. But then I got this one girl. I do a Bible study with her every day. Really? Okay. That's yeah, really I had um, I had somebody send her a Bible because she didn't have one. So okay. she's been so, like, ever since she got it, she's been like, oh, my God, tell them thank you. I wanted a Bible. Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay. <laughs> <That's abrupt. laughs> um, I was looking up who was the governor at the time just to see, because I know Colorado has, they are quite liberal, but not like, not like California. Um, but it was a libertarian. You would know a lot more about that curious Jim, but it is interesting. Like you're asking her about a bond hearing. Here we are nine months later, Kenny Ray. Kenny Ray, don't you know <laughs> that it's just past time for that? And um, I don't know. It's kind of interesting, but it wasn't too. I don't have m many other thoughts besides that. What about you girls? Oh, I just, I mean, her, her, uh, I guess, translation of how the court system works <laughs> is really interesting. Um, as if Colorado doesn't have a bond hearing. They do have a bond hearing. It's called a present, uh, uh, proof evident presumption great or a preliminary hearing. Mm -hmm. And that hearing is to, you know, you present just enough evidence uh, to justify what that you're being held with no bond. Um, it's not called an evidence hearing. <laughs> and it is a bond hearing. Um, and yeah, COVID did mess some things up. Now, something that is interesting. Um, after Letitia was convicted, a new law did come through uh, because once Colorado got rid of the death penalty, which was in you know the first part of 2020, once they got rid of the death penalty, they needed to make an adjustment to the bond law, the you know the law about being able to hold somebody with no bond. And if it's not a capital case, you have to be able to set a bond even on first degree murder charges because it's not a capital case. So that did change, but not until after Letitia was convicted. And even if it did, who's going to pay the bond? I mean, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> also, I mean, even though the law changed, I'm pretty sure, she, like, if they still were doing it, she would have still fell in the category because it was like the law changed, but it was if the crime was committed up until like June of 2020 or something. Um, yeah. But, you know, they quit putting Pete, they haven't put anyone to death in that state for a long time, I guess, based on the little bit of research I did a long time ago. Now I will never forget her preliminary hearing. That was, we've talked about it many times. You, you guys and me up here, just that was live tweets. You know, there were no cameras and it was when we first started hearing about the extent of Gannon's injuries and things like that. It was, hor it was horrifying. Um, but when did that happen? Do you remember anybody? September of 2021. So 10 months after this phone call. Okay. Yeah, I knew yeah. it was a little. Oh, great, great. Thank you. You are my favorite Alex and Two Gins. Best Alex and Two Gins ever. Aww. <laughs> well, can, thank you. Well, can I just say that if you're right, you guys are right. L Letitia would not have been eligible for bond based on her behavior when she was being extradited. Right. So they would have, they would have just, I mean, and, and, all they would have, I mean, even if they did offer her bond, all right, they would have just set that so high or they would have set it as a cash bond. Regardless, nobody, no, nobody was going to put that even if I don't even think Aunt Brenda would have the means to put that up. Yeah. Yeah. I did find it interesting that she started requesting a conflict hearing in November of 2020. We don't see the conflict hearing until February of 2021 but she started requesting conflict hearing in November what because is that? she's talking about it in past tense conflict. on December 1st, uh, that she's got a problem with her attorneys and she wants to go pro se. Yeah. Um, okay. So see, I think, I think the deal is what Letitia gets a great many things. And I don't know if it's intentionally wrong, like she's just giving wrong information right. because she doesn't want her family to really know what's going on. Or if she actually doesn't know what she's talking about or some combination of both. But the truth is, um, <clears throat> there still is a right to a speedy trial. Okay, COVID did not right. negate the Constitution. 
but there's workarounds and there has to be compromises because we didn't know what we were dealing with then. It was new. So um, that's ridiculous. And, you know, she just, she acts like the court system, she, every, every system is, is to, to supposed to just bend to her whim. If she says she wants a conflict hearing, well, dad gummit, she should get a conflict hearing tomorrow. You know, she doesn't yeah. understand that there are, that the courts are before the, before the C word even hit, mm -hmm. the courts were already inundated. So, you know, I, she's so ridiculous. Uh, she's well, entitled to, she's gotten her way like a lot. Go ahead, Curious Jen, because I want to address this comment on the screen and also another one that kind of was in line with it when you get, when you're done. So yeah, I just have one more thing. Uh, okay. So what do you guys think about how she can just casually talk right through the cement? Um, you know, you can just casually hear and, and have conversations with the men who are housed above you through the cement. Yeah. Without, it, without even using the toilet. I guess she graduated yeah. vampire camp and that's her special power. She didn't get invisibility. She didn't get speed, mind reading, or any of that. She has supersonic hearing. She can hear through cement. Well played, Tisha Leanne. Right. You, I mean, you can <laughs> just have a casual conversation. <laughs> okay. So Urban Home said, home. up until the trial, she didn't have any in 2023, which, when was the last one? I know I've asked you a million times, but I cannot remember. November? That's all right. The, no, the last call that Letitia made from the jail was on December 14th of 2022. Okay, December 14th, 2022. But we do know, because this is in um, Anonymous's super chat, and thank you so much for that, by the way, that phone call that we heard on phone calls from prison, that was after the trial, and that was from Denver Women's. That yeah, is right. separate, which all happened before. And yeah, so and a big reason that Letitia didn't make any calls after that date is because that is right around um, the same time that the prosecution came out with their endorsed witness list. And on that list was Amy Lowry, Katrina, Brenda, Harley, anybody that Letitia had been talking to was now on the endorsed witness list for the prosecution. Um, and, and I think that they even froze the money that Aunt Brenda was sending Letitia after a certain point until after the trial. Right. I think she wasn't allowed to talk to them. That's what wow. I was going to say, because they're, because they are witnesses yeah. for the state. Right. <laughs> yeah. Then it, would, it, it could be, it doesn't even matter what the um, <clears throat> conversation is about. It can right. be seen as uh, inti witness intimidation. And so just to keep it, on the up and up, they just don't let her talk to anybody, you know, but I'll say this, um, in a way it was a good move kind of, but then in a way I wish they hadn't have done that because, yeah. um, I feel like <clears throat> she, it would give us more insight in, and them too, more insight into what, she, what, what she's up to. Right. You know, because you got you can't just listen to like a couple of phone calls and be like, oh, OK, I can see what her her plan is. Right. Yeah. Because um, I'm working on um, a video. It's almost done. I just have to narrate it um, about Letitia and the Volturi. And the thing is, even though the call that we heard that on is October 11th, it actually goes back farther than that. So you have to go through the jail records and go back to see what kicked all of this off so right. yeah. you know what i mean it's, and and so th i wish they would have let her talk i feel like it's always if you're the state now not if you're a defense attorney obviously but if you're the state it's always a good idea let the prisoner talk let the accused right. talk. a lot of times they will too um and allison we didn't know we were doing november of 2020 and now we're on december and we've already ordered january we're gonna try to do them as long as you guys want in order. Um, and then also D loved by two says the 25 minutes of chit chat. I have to keep forwarding to get to the meat of what we want to hear. Well, I just want to say what I would recommend for you is just to come back later 
and and watch or wait until we're done. And Curious Jen does a live stream with all the calls from December all at once with absolutely no commentary. But the entire point of what we're doing here today and what we usually do with the calls on my channel is we listen together and then we discuss together. So if, if you're looking for something different than that, you can watch on Curious Jen's at the at the end or you can come back and replay and fast forward or whatever. But watching during the live will, will make that a little difficult if you're just trying to hear that part. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me drop y'all's links in the chat really quick and then we'll keep going. Unless do you guys have anything else? No, no, I'm ready. No, I'm ready whenever you are. So yeah, um, Curious Jen does like a, an awesome live at the end that's hours long, you know, four hours, five hours long with all the calls. Um, yeah. Back to back, okay. no commentary. You don't have to hear us talk. Yes. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people love, love that. And a lot of people love the, this, like people I think don't understand that like these live chats are somewhat different than watching like a pre-recorded video. A part of the purpose is to communicate with your community and have conversation. You know what I mean? It's, right. I know you guys know, right. but okay. Y'all ready? Ready. Yep. All right. Global Telling. Hello. Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing. I've been waiting on my books. I ain't got them yet. You still haven't got them? Mm-mm. Not yet. That's weird. Yeah. Are you doing this chill? Yeah. I'm tired? Mm-hmm. You were today? Yeah, this morning. Ow, what in the world do I got my hair? Oh, I, would, I had to be a therapist today. Yeah, I'm saying that. Help all these people who are crazy. <laughs> 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 who, like come in off the streets and they just the girl was screaming uh, like freaking out because she thought the dude was gonna like take all of her things and clothing and stuff and then so I was like hey I said try to look on the bright side until you go to the court you know whatever to judge I was like you know take some time in here to talk to God or whatever and then she starts talking about yeah, but he put a gun to my head and blah, blah, blah. I said, well, maybe it's a good thing you're in here because you're alive and all that. And then she starts freaking out. So I'm like, but it's my clothes. What am I going to do? I'm never going to get clothes again. And then she goes and finds out she's getting out tonight. And I'm like, you're over here whining and crying and falling out and you're getting out tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Then the other girl was, I, I said the deputy should work three days because they're working 12 hour shifts now you know because it makes them tired doing four days mm -hmm. the girl's like no they work they need to work four days but only seven hours so they can work more than what you're saying and i go that don't make any sense what you're saying she goes why i said because 12 times three is 36 she's mm -hmm. like okay i said seven times four is 28 you're wanting them to work less but complaining that they need to work more it's just like, oh, I didn't know seven times four is twenty-eight. I'm like, apparently not. Mm. When I'm the best speller by far in here. <laughs> is that I, mean, nothing? I know. Now don't get it wrong now, they ain't gonna stand a chance on me on like mathematical stuff, but like mm -hmm. Yeah, the girl spells soap S O P E. Oh wow. And then they were trying to spell Colorado, but put it C O L A R A D O. How could they not spell that when they lived there? I I don't know. I'm telling you, like literacy is so bad. Like I just I go like everybody brings me their stuff to proofread. 
I mean, unless it's like their personal stuff, because then I'd be like, oh, I don't want to read this. Like this one girl mm-hmm. sends all this personal stuff to to the chief here, and like all all these deputies, she sends them personal stuff. Hmm. But I say, don't let me read that. Let me read your like regular stuff, and I hope you correct your words. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. What's Sadie doing? She's in the cage downstairs. Me, every time I call, she's in the cage. Huh? Every time I call, she's in the cage. No. She gets special treatment. From who? From me. Oh, okay. So why does she get special treatment? I let her sleep with me for like an hour. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. Little baby. Oh, so you didn't transfer that $10 that time to that account. What $10? I, though, I told you in the Bank of America account, I said transfer it $10 so it don't go dormant. Oh. You did do it and it went dormant, so that money got returned. Are you sure? No, I promise. <laughs> I remember because I was trying to set up my belly for USAA, but it always tells me when I go on, it's like there's an issue. Yeah, because I think it's still, I think it's linked to my phone number, like my old number. No, like, I mean, my personal USAA. Right. Your, the it's, one you had with that account number was hooked to my number on Zilly. That's why. Mm-mm. No, because I use my phone before. I've done it before, but uh, I've been trying to do it lately, and it doesn't work. Oh, huh. That's weird. This girl standing here butt naked eating her dinner. <laughs> I'm surprised they let that happen. What can they say? They they just always naked. They seem more naked women than women. She's waving at me like I'm like, oh my god, you know? Yeah. But anyway, but I'm going to find out about it and um, I'll check into it. And okay. I'll send your letter to Dee Dee's address, so I don't know why you didn't get it. No, I haven't got anything. Huh. I mean, if all it shows, you might just have to redo the paperwork. Okay. Yeah. So I, I mean, if you don't, you don't get it this week, then I'll just resend it out. Again. Okay. Can you hear me? Huh? Come oh, on, hi. Hi, Tono. <laughs> Is he taking care of Chancy? Yeah. Maybe I told her. I told her what I told you. The account. Didn't go dormant. I just logged into it. Yes, Harley, but I'm saying there has no been no transactions on it. So when it tried to like send money there, it just looks like it's just blank. You see what I'm saying? Like it would because it looks fishy, like something's going on because it's a minor savings account. You see what I'm saying? You've already turned 18, so it's probably why it's uh, just picking that up. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna probably have to just switch it to a whatever, but. I'll I'll probably just send you have you redo the paperwork if they make me redo it, but I don't know. I'll have to find out. I just don't. I can't call now because it's five, so it's seven o'clock in South Carolina. So yeah, no. Okay. This dude just like well, this is so funny because there's guys working here and these guys are walking around just like butt naked and I just feel like oh my god, like crazy. Look, she's over there. She's put on a show now. She's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. I can't make this up, man. I really can't. The things I write down to, like, have, I, I can't make it up. Okay. You do be telling me crazy stuff. I'm telling you, like, I don't even tell you the half of it. Like, if I told you some of the words, and that song I told you, that I was like, that time the girl singing, I was like, I don't know who sings the song, remember? She wrote that mm-hmm. song. It's good. <laughs> like, she wrote it with the rap part, everything. It talks about, I'll have to, like, 
have her write down the words and send it to you and the thing. But, uh, she wrote the song because I was like, I asked my daughter one day who sings this song, and she was like, I don't know, I ain't heard it. And she laughed at me. She's like, that's because I wrote it. Oh, <laughs> I like, wow. Dang, it sounds like something legit on on the radio. But her uncle is the guy who um, runs the 98.5 the Vibe, whatever, here in Colorado. Mm-hmm. The guy that he's on there. And, like, she calls and has them do all these shout-outs to people. <laughs> and the, mm-hmm. the, the dudes will be playing the radio so we can hear it through the vent. We just hear all these mm-hmm. shout-outs. I'm just laughing. I just laugh. I'm like, who is shouting out to people, Jill? <laughs> but anyway. That's actually funny. It is funny. I just die laughing because... Oh, some lady wrote me and was like, I saw Harley on Instagram Live, and she didn't look like she was doing good. <laughs> I died laughing. I I had to write the lady back, and I said, Every well, single person in my life, they're like, Harley, are you okay today? I wrote her back, and I had to say, I don't really know what you mean. She sounds fine to me, and I went over the reasons why, and I was like, but thanks for looking out, though. <laughs> and that's all I put on there. I was just like, okay. That's well, so funny. How did she look bad on Instagram Live? Like, <laughs> Because sometimes they think I've been crying, and I'm like, no. Oh, my God. Please, um, you know, make sure your eyes aren't, you know, swollen and a little puffy from no sleep or whatever. Or, you know, you don't got any makeup on. They might freak out, you know. Yeah, my my eyelashes. (laughs) Yeah, I was reading that. I was like. Okay, I'm like I'm pretty sure I talk to her a lot, so um yeah. <laughs> no. Um, did you talk to Ingrid about helping you with your rent? Uh, that's kind of confusing situation. Why? <laughs> I mean, she ignored me for the last couple of days, but then she finally talked to me today. But then my phone died, so. All right, well, I'll find out what's up when I call it. Okay. I'm just going to read that stuff off. If you ain't got it by the time I call you tomorrow, then I'll have them come and redo the paper, and I'll resend everything. If I don't have what? If you don't have that letter, like, just double-check with her by tomorrow that nothing came. Okay, I got you. And then, um, did you check into those schools? Um. Uh, no. Yeah, a little no. bit. The same. <laughs> say no you didn't do it fully and that's fine and um let's see, I yeah. thought about it a lot <laughs> okay well that's I a just good couldn't remember I couldn't, no I just couldn't remember what you had called them NC ready schools oh that's right that's right are you having problems with your memory I am on Instagram live you ain't doing well so I'm just going to find out NC ready. Okay, I got you. I can put it in my notes now. Yeah. NC ready. Y'all always depend on you to help me remember stuff. I know, you just came in bad memory. Well, don't worry. I'll I'll take it back for you pretty soon. It'll be all good. And then we can do an Instagram live and be like, hi. Oh my yeah. gosh. Do you know how, do you know how like how many people would be on that live if you were on my live? I don't know. Don't worry, it'll happen. God comes and gets his people, man. The lady mm-hmm. was like, Well, are you bored in there? I was like, No, not really because I get to spend all day with God, so most people don't get to do, so I'm thankful for it. Yep. And they were like, Well, I heard you get to talk to people. I said, Yeah, we talk. Everybody talks. You talk to the cement, you talk to the concrete, you talk to the sinks. Vince, whatever you can talk to. So what? <gasps> the toilet. Yeah. Whatever. I'm like, trust me. I'm like, I'm the, by far, hands down the smartest individual in here. <laughs> so well, I, I don't back. think anybody else in there has a doctor's degree. So. But, like, here's the problem with it. Well, according to in online, I don't. But, you know, I set that straight because they were able to go back and find it at Liberty. Ha <laughs> idiots. Mm-hmm. But, um, anyway, um, 
But the point of it is, is like, I feel so bad for some of these people, and I always try to be the one to help them because they just, you know, they just got it bad, man. Like, the drugs. I never knew it was so bad. It just breaks my heart. I just pray for people like that so much last night. Like, they give them all these opportunities, zero court, and they give them, you know, uh, halfway houses, concord, all these things to, like, get straight. And it's just a system mm-hmm. that they're going to come right back in here. And they're going to keep using drugs. And if they don't use drugs, they're going to coddle them, and they're going to give them Gatorade in here. Then they're going to put them back out on the streets, and they're going to go right back to drugs. Heck, the girls bring drugs in here for the other people to do drugs. Mm-hmm. They put it in a private part. Mm-hmm. So it's just horrible, man. That That's just like. Yeah, no, I thank God. And, I, and I'll be in there talking to God, and I'll be like... You have one minute remaining. I would like, thank God. I ain't never had to worry about drugs, because hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, I'll find out about the other situation. I called her, she didn't answer for me, because I was going to find an update on my books, but... Mm-hmm. All right, love you, sweetie. Love you, too. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to pause like 10 times. <laughs> well, Go congratulations ahead. on winning the the jail spelling bee, Tasha Leon. That's a <laughs> hell of an accomplishment. Well, first of By all, let far. me You think yeah. something's wrong with Harley? Um, yeah. She's lost her entire family. You've murdered her stepbrother. She doesn't have a mom anymore. Her stepdad is not in her life. She don't know how she's going to even feed herself. I mean, it's just so frustrating. And then <laughs> I'm the well, what, are you the laughing at? what are you laughing at? There's a comment that you're laughing at. Hold on. No, I was not laughing at a comment. I was oh. just thinking in my head about her comment about, yeah, you know, I'm the smartest person in here. And she, then Harley's like, yeah, I'm sure there's nobody in there with a doctorate. <laughs> and then just like, oh. I'm, I'm the best speller around. Oh my God. I just, I, I was a little creeped out. I was a little grossed out by the way, Harley and Letitia were both giggling about the people who were concerned about Harley on social yeah. media that and was uh yes I that was a little hard to hear that all was hard the, to hear all the people that would be there if she went live with her it was like oh. right right i think what makes it extra hard is because sweet gannon wanted so much to be right. a youtuber yeah you know what i mean and um not yeah yeah also, she's gets to spit. No, it's not. I'm not bored in here. I get to spend all day with God. <laughs> okay, Tisha. Uh, God and the Boltori. Your uh, her ego is. She just simply cannot. Her ego gets in the way of her being truthful. So many times, even when it's beyond obvious that it's not the truth. It's like you could right. just admit that you're bored and miserable. You're in jail. It's not that. I mean, who wouldn't be? But no. Oh. And I just tell her, nope, because I get to spend all day with God. Just like, you know, she'll never tell the truth about exactly what happened. And I think it's that ego that gets in the way and what everybody thinks about you and all that, you know. All right. Well, she's also spending her free time, you know, rewriting the work schedules for the correctional officers. <sighs> right. <laughs> Tisha Lynn, do you know where you are, baby? You in jail, okay? You are not in a position at this point to be trying to improve nothing. Right. She, she's she's like, going to write their schedules. Better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, God. Uh, you're right, though. That laughing over people's concern. That's just icky. Yeah. That was, that was, uh, that was gross. No yeah. me gusta. That was just gross. Okay. Yeah. No me gusta. And you know what? Um, I've seen people really su- give her a lot of love and support, Harley, even especially now. I'm so proud of you for, you know, oh, it's just gross. It is gross. But, but, but. Okay, Harley's wrong for saying it, right? But Letitia, as her mother, should have said something, should have corrected yeah, her. Like, sure. no, 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 now these people are just worried about you, whatever, right? I always like how Letitia talks about religion and God and then will say yada, yada, whatever, whatever. I'm sure God appreciates the abridged version of your sermon, Letitia. 
spreading a good word. Right. You know, somebody like Letitia, it's almost like the more they talk about God in this, you know, uh, like they're offering you a presentation of their character uh, and they're just name dropping, right? Um, the more a person talks about God, usually they also act like there isn't one, you know? Um, hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that there's a whole big group of these people out there. It's just there, there's a handful of people that I can think of that really um, just all the time try to use it as a weapon to deflect guilt. You know, like um, like if you go to church all the time, you never do anything wrong. It's not quite that simple. I mean, well, let's say her face seems like... a little disingenuous. Her her yeah. face seems a little disingenuous. And and listen, it, I don't tell anybody what what they can you know what to believe or whatever. Your what that's my name's Paul, and that's between y'all. However, um, at the end of the day, she she whatever her walk is is her walk. It's just a, it's a little, it's just a little bit like, uh, oh, okay. You know, a little disingenuous and kind of annoying. And, and, and I see why, why people give, I listen, I get why people give Harley a hard time. Okay. Because yeah. saying stuff like she just said, it's, it ain't a good look. All right. The optics are very bad, Harley, but I will also say she is still learning. She is 18. And that is the time when the mom or the dad, the parent should be stepping in and saying, look, I, I get it, Harley, like social media, the internet remains undefeated. Okay. Every, every internet user should know that. So social media is hard. It's difficult. But at the same time, Harley, there are a lot of people out there who are supporting you, not just by sending you compliments, right and encouragement but they're also sending you money so maybe show a little yeah. gratitude and that is what a parent should be teaching a child in my opinion allegedly for entertainment purposes only right but Letitia's over here teaching her how to step on the heads of people to succeed correct yep. and how to lie snake manipulate twist absolutely happy birthday snow S. Newell. I don't know how to say it, but happy birthday. Happy, happy, birthday. Birthday. happy birthday. Also, D, the one who doesn't like the commentary, says, Woohoo, Lamont at large is live right now. Now, see y'all. See y'all. Have a good night. Okay, oh bye. God. It's like, you probably should learn some etiquette with these kind of situations, unless you just want to be like outwardly offensive. Then, I, okay, but. <laughs> Have a good night. And then let me say thank you really quickly to um, a couple people. Let me see. Um, Sky Flash Photographer, thank you so much. She, they say H qualifies for victimfund.gov fund. Dot, she collects question. I, I know nothing about that. I don't know if you guys know Oh, anything. for Colorado's Victim Assistance Fund. Yeah. She. Yeah. I would think she would. Wouldn't she, Jen? Yeah, she would qualify. And if she took them up on any fundage, then that's part of her mother's $50,000 restitution. Oh, um, I don't have a record of what was sent where as part of the Colorado Victims Compensation Fund. Um, but uh, victims are eligible to basically be reimbursed for or like sometimes they'll pay for an Air Airbnb if a victim needs to stay somewhere or, right. you know, I mean, um, but they're not just handing them money. You know, it's uh, it's in exchange for. So it's like, well, what do you need? Uh, okay. Landon needs a hotel in Colorado Springs to travel for court. OK, they'll they'll book the hotel and the flight and and that'll come out of the fund and uh, taxpayers will pay it and then Letitia will owe it. Wow. Okay. I'm curious about that because when you when you are classified as a victim, as we've seen from, and I can't even believe I'm saying this name, Chris Watts. How so his you? parents, I know, his <laughs> ratio sales. We ain't going back to the island, or at least this girl ain't. Not for a while. I might go back in a while, maybe in a couple of months, but December December is no good. Um, anyway, um, but you know because they were considered victims, his parents and his sister, mainly his parents, um, it created a, an issue because there was a court order that 
Chris Watts have no contact with any of the victims in this case. And I would imagine that should hardly be declared a victim back in those days, it would they would have told Leticia she cannot have conflict or she cannot have contact with Harley as a victim because I know she couldn't talk to Al or to Landon, which is why she did the stuff that she did on some of these calls where she's passing messages. Right. Oh, she was even writing to strangers who had written her and asking that stranger, um, one YouTuber in particular that I won't name, but she was asking this YouTuber to uh, write Landon a letter and, and to, or get a hold of Landon and tell her X, Y, and Z. Oh, oh, to, oh, the courts love third. They love contact by third love party. It. They really love smile it. upon that stuff. That's a total loophole, Leticia, that nobody's ever thought of before. And, and there yeah. isn't a direct thing in the law si about that. You're so oh smart, Tisha. Right. Like you're trying to send out mail when you first get there without a return address. You are the property right. of the state, ma'am. Right. <laughs> Stamp oh. it. <laughs> Ma'am. Um, S. Newell, I hope you have a really great birthday. That's awesome. And then also, hey, Wolfie, um, let me say, or thank you, I mean, to these that we missed during the call. So Lynette said, got to hand it to La Screecha. <laughs> she is the greatest mediocre's mediocre of all time, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Yes. And then Crystal said, we love you, ladies. And I love this community. Don't change the suit of you. Thank you, Crystal. And we love you guys. Then Angie says, chat on, my friends. We love you all. And then Anonymous says, appreciate all three of you. We are all here for it, commentary and all. And I appreciate you guys. And thank you so much. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. And then anything else before we go on to the next one? Well, a couple of things. I need to get me a Zelly account, first of all. <laughs> Zelly. <laughs> Zelly, did you hear her saying, did you hear her talking about Zelly? It's, it's Zelly yeah, honey. It's Zell. And she probably <laughs> still calls memes memes. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, just a, a couple. What? <laughs> Sorry. I was confused about that. And that makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> That's all. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no. Uh, the, the only two other things that I felt the need to write down was. Uh, my favorite part, bar none, the entire call, is when Letitia's talking about how she communicates through the cement, the concrete, the sinks, the vents, and Harley's like, the toilet. <laughs> See, that, those are the times when you got to like appreciate Harley because she does have, she does give her mom like a little bit of low key shade and it's good. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. And then Leticia responds with whatever. It's oh. like, no, you know, she got your ass. And she did. <laughs> oh, she I loved did. it. It was wonderful. That's just my, my favorite part. Um, but the only other thing I wrote down was, did you pick up how it's, uh, it's Harley's fault that the money got returned? Uh, yes, I was going to comment on that. And then the, uh, and the fact that Leticia is now a counselor. Yeah. No, yeah, she's a, yeah, she's a therapist. Um, and she's a talking checker. A, you know, talking about look on the bright side. Try to be positive. Girl, let's go sit down somewhere, Leticia. I know we need <laughs> joke counseling services, ma'am. She said, I'll help you correct your words. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, don't like, let her help. When you said that, it just like I saw it in my head because I have Chase. That's who I bank through. So like Zell is on there on the on your banking app. <laughs> but uh -huh. I had no idea what was being said or being talked about in those few moments until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So she blames Harley that the money got returned. Now Harley just logged into the account. It doesn't show anything about you know that there was something deposited or rejected or pending or. Right. You know, whatever, you know, none of that. And she's like, no, Harley, you don't understand. I told you transfer ten dollars. So it so it don't go dormant. And she's like, it's not dormant. I just logged in. Everything's fine. And she's like, no, no, no. It's you know, so she just absolutely gaslights her. And the reason why she doesn't now have twenty five thousand dollars in her account, even though that money's now going to go to Brenda for the car. Right. Oh God. Right. Yeah. 
It's all because Harley didn't do something that Letitia told her to do. Right. Now we've listened to all but mm, like a handful of redacted phone calls. Did you ever hear Letitia tell Harley to transfer $10 so it don't go dormant? I did not. Hmm. It's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> Makes you really wonder, doesn't it? Huh. Right. Um, so the next call is actually with Brenda, but it's redacted. So then oh. the next call that we're going to get is another call with Kenny Ray. And something that I forgot to tell you last time, remember how that last call with her, with her daddy ended so abruptly? That was because yeah. Letitia hung the phone up mid sentence. Oh my she, God. You know, she got sick of, she got sick of that storyline, I guess. And just hung up, but we'll, we'll hear what happened when she calls him back. Too oh many, too, too many um, questions. Yeah. <laughs> too many questions for Tisha's taste. <sighs> okay. Wow. Are you guys ready? Sure. Yeah, I'm just, I've been looking forward to this so much because, you know, I had to listen to these by myself once and now I'm like, yay, they're finally here. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited too. Okay. Um, also, I really want to get to that one call and I don't know if we're going to, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to press play and stop comment, you know, commentating. And if you guys are ready, you ready? Yes, I don't think we're going to get to it, but I'm still excited to hear. I'm even excited for the next one, just because we haven't heard a lot from Kenny Ray. Like I was looking forward to hearing that. So, okay, let's go. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Good. We got cut off the other day because the phone broke or something. So, I thought so I what now? So we got cut off the other day because the phone broke. Yeah, they, I didn't know what had happened. Something happened to it. I didn't, couldn't figure it out. I just got cut slam off. I know, I know. Um, I was going to see if you could send me some books. What kind of books you want, babe? I don't know. I mean, I got like some. I can. You want me to send it to you on the, in the mail, like some that I like? Yeah, like, send it to me. I... Yeah, and I got you something special. I'm sending you too. All right. Well, they don't let me get stuff, so I'm only allowed books. Yeah, that's a book. Okay, <laughs> so I was like, sure. I was like, yeah. I'm only allowed books. I can't even get yeah. books. <laughs> Yeah, just send me uh, what what kind of books you want, and I just get on the way to you and go from there. All right, what are y'all up to? We just got to a bowl of soup. I wish she was here eating one with us. Soup? I know. <laughs> we, I, got, I cooked some homemade soup. It was real good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we don't. I don't get none of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I ate yeah, I, lunch. I ate peanut butter at lunch, but I don't eat dinner, so. Shine dog, peanut butter, Lord help you. You better start eating something better than that, baby. That's all we get is peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, That's all they feed you. We get um, peanut butter for lunch. You get peanut butter, you get four carrots, and then you either get like a cereal bar or, or four cookies, one or the other. And then at breakfast, you get like a little tiny, when I say tiny, I mean tiny cup, smaller than the ones you buy kids full of cereal. And then we get a cereal bar again. And then they give us beans. <laughs> I'm not eating beans for breakfast, but anyway. Mm. Um, and then dinner. I mean, I don't even know what it is half the time. Most of the time, it's not good. It's usually like rice with nothing on it that's freezing cold and not done. So I don't uh. eat that mess. Yeah. Right yeah. Okay, I'll get you some books, and I'll, uh, I'll probably try to get some money in your account tomorrow, too, some way to figure out how to get back well, on this account. Well, don't worry about it. If you would, I was going to ask you if any way you could give Harley some of it for grocery. I got my retirement coming to her. It's just being held up because I don't know what's going on. But I, I applied to get my retirement out to give to her. So I told her I'd ask you if you could help her with some grocery. I know Brenda gave her some for her, her hey. rent or whatever. Okay, well, where's she? Uh, I'll try to get with her the weekend or something. Is that well, that be all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let her know. I'm hoping that she'll get my retirement by the There was a 90 day hold, but then I tried to do expedited, 
but I had somebody else doing it for me. So I don't know if they did it right. So I'm waiting to hear back. So what I did is I just went ahead and sent Harley a power of attorney. Since, you know, she's okay. 18, that way she can go check online and see where the status is at of it, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you ask, uh, that's another lie. That's okay. I won't ask that question later. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll, what? What I was, and I was asking about, did you, do you have any your insurance policies and all that? The, the, well, the that needs, I have insurance on myself and that, that's why she got, a, she pays it every three months and it's, I think it's like $75 or something like that. So I know it's due again in December. So I don't know. I know she's working, but she's also, you know, having to pay, you know, like that rent is like $500 and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if she's paid it for this month, but it's definitely on USAA for sure. And it's insurance. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I got one on holiday, but I don't know. I got to call my agent. That's why I was sitting here doing one of I got to see if when she ages off of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I got a good policy on her, but. Anyway, I just want to make sure that you, that you did you lose yours or whatever happened. No, 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 my... I got it. It's still active. Um, we had like a family policy, um, so it's still active, and you know, um, so I try to. I have to always remind her to, to pay on it. But I think she was like, well, they didn't work a lot, you know, and then they didn't have class this semester, but online. Harley's smart, but she cannot learn online. Like, she it's just. You know what I mean? It's just pointless. <laughs> and so okay. she's so worried about it because she's like, Mom, we got to do online next semester, and I can't, I don't like it. And I don't think none of the kids really like it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, okay. I can do online, but not everybody can. Um, okay. You know, so. But, but I'll get up with her and I'll uh, work something out with her. And, uh, like I said, I'll get you, just see what kind of boots you need, and I'll get you some there, and I'll get you the boot coming, okay? Okay. And I know your birthday's coming up, so if I don't get to call you back, uh-huh. happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, babe. Appreciate it. I think so. Same to you, but I mean, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I know what you mean. How's the kids, Taylor and Skyler, are doing good? They're doing good. They're going. They're doing good. They're doing good. Sure is. Uh, All right. Well, tell yeah, me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying, get, uh, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get a. Uh, hold on just a minute. Location. Yeah. Location. Yeah. All right. All of us listen. Bye. Okay. How are you guys? Hey, hey, Sandy. We thank you to back you, girl. Oh, thank you. I need a lot of thoughts for sure and prayers. <laughs> but I'll make it. I'll make it. I'll, I'll, I'll be out of here soon. Just got to live through it. Time. I know. I just got to live through it. That's it. But hey, you know mm-hmm. what's good about it, though? I get to spend every day with the Lord. That's right. That's right. So. Sometimes he has to get us low where he can talk to us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because always, uh, we always have God in our lives, you know, but you, you let your seed go by the wayside a little bit and don't keep it planting. He's going to make sure you listen. That's right. Yeah, but it'll be all right. <laughs> but I'll, get you, I'll get that took care of for you and figure it out, okay? Okay, all right. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you all soon, okay? And I'll okay. let Harley know you'll talk to her. You have her number, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. I'm so mad. I need to be on a plane right now. College game Please. day. Is there, college game day is there tomorrow. I know. It's right in front of my house. I know. It's in the newspaper here. It's in the newspaper in Colorado. Yeah. Do you know who we're playing? Do you know who we're playing? Yeah. Liberty, L U yeah. baby. No, BYU, they changed it. Oh, oh is it? Well, BYU. The, front, the paper says. Oh. Oh, okay. The front page. Well, the page. What, says is, what is BYU? Brigham Young. Brigham Young. Who is that? Somewhere. Oh. I don't know. Well, Are they, they better? Haven't, they haven't changed it yet, then, because um, it it just it just says Liberty still in there. It says number twenty five, mm. Liberty. I was like, dang. Yep. yep. We may be on ABC. Um, the CD said we may be on ABC. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell them let me go next door so I can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should uh, you should have charged parking in your neighborhood and then just bust them over. I know, right? <laughs> to the golf cart, and take them over. Put put them in the Bellamy van. 
Yeah, that's what she should have done. Just pulled him over there. But don't worry, you can park here. Twenty bucks, and I give you. I drop you off in front of the stadium. Oh, it's limited seating, so they won't have trouble parking. Oh, then crap. Well, if it was normal circumstances, you could do that. Isn't the stadium small too? No, they increased the size. No, because remember they do all that mm-hmm. construction. Oh, yeah. Tw- only twenty five percent. So what is? What is BYU ranked then? What is, BYU is eight eight yeah. Okay, so they moved it to the Coastal BYU. They right. moved it yeah. Okay. Wait, what is Coastal? Fourteen. Oh, right? we're gonna lose. No, 15. that don't mean anything. That don't mean nothing. They're undefeated. Oh. Oh. You said they haven't played. Yeah, she said they haven't played in a while in weeks. The Coastal or BYU? BYU. Oh, so wait, why did they move Liberty? Because Liberty's team got COVID. Dang. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've been to game day before. Remember, we went to South Carolina. Oh, At Gamecocks, yeah. remember? Yeah. And we, we saw yeah, everybody there. Remember, we saw the people there. And I think... Uh, you had the we had the picture of me and you and the the little cocky you took a little oh yeah. the webcam yeah yeah we went to uh, that we went to game day then when it was at South Carolina mm-hmm, I remember that yeah but it's never been in Conway South Carolina yeah, yeah. but that's not gonna leave the house that sucks though limited seating though because that means that you know yeah I mean half the town. I don't know. Is people camping out there? Yeah, they're Which still I, doing the tailgate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. bigger than the game. Anyway, be, Isn't it usually bigger than the game? Yeah. Yeah. That'll be the problem. That'll be, there'll be no social distance. <laughs> <laughs> not a tailgate, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, not no tailgate. I tried to call you last night over and over and I had something to tell you, but I forgot, but I was like, Dang. I was at church. I was looking at my phone and I was like, I can't answer this. <laughs> hey, because you know, uh, they've been making the paper because remember Charleston, South Carolina made the paper the other day here. Oh, yeah. And then Lomerton, North Carolina made the paper with the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I saw that and it said Coastal Carolina game day. I said, what? Does it mean a real one? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I didn't keep up until I saw it on some yeah. page. And I was like, oh. So I'm going to just keep the, that part of the paper later on tonight. Because <laughs> they got a big picture of the Coast of Carolina thing there. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, it is freezing. I always have to tell you about my math lesson. Our Your math lesson. lesson? So check this out. So this, this girl had a $50,000 bond, right? And mm-hmm. she was asking everybody, she was like, well, how much do I need to get out? They were like, well, it costs 10% to get out. And they were like, so you need $10,000. So they went on through this whole thing. So finally she came by to go to the shower. I said, they told you wrong, honey. 10% of 50000 is not 10000 They were all like, yes, it is. Because if you have 10 dimes, 10% is 10. I'm like, no, I promise it's just not right. Kept on, kept on, kept on. I said, just divide 10 into 50. What do you get? They were like, I don't know. I said, five. So it has to start at five. And I kept going. Like it's five thousand. They're like, no, no, no. So I was finally like, told the girl, I said, look, I bet you a year's worth of food that uh, it's five thousand. So then everybody was like, oh, bet me, bet me. So I told everybody, I said, I bet all sixteen um, people in here that I'll give you a year worth of commentary if I'm wrong, because I knew I was right. So then they go to ask the deputy, and they were like, I don't know, hold on, I got to look it up and calculate it. I'm sitting there like, it's five thousand. And then she came back, she's like, oh, it's five thousand. <laughs> They told her, you said they told her 10000 Yes. That's 20%. <laughs> and then they were like, the one girl was like, well, what's mine? I'm 33. 33000 I said, just divide 10 into 33. How many times does it go? She goes, oh, I don't know. You're going to have less over. I said, that means it's going to cost more than the 3000 She's like, but what do I do with it? I said, it means it's more than 3000 You just keep going, like repeating decimals. And they were like, what does that mean? I said, never mind. We'll work on that tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, my God. I was like, never mind. We'll, just, we'll do that tomorrow. This is too much for today. Oh, man. I got a hot water milk carton right now in my hand, and I got, like, hot water, boiling hot water in it, and I'm holding my hands to it. 
Could you call him? Oh, yeah. My dad said he's um going to get up with you. Did he get up with you? He said by, before the weekend or by the weekend. No. Okay. Well, you might have to remind him because I just talked to him. And um, he's going to give you money, too, to pay that thing online for me. Mm -hmm. But um, I told him that um, he said he'll get up with you this weekend. And if he forgot to remind him, so you might have to remind him. Just say, hey, Mom said that you're going to get up with me this weekend. Okay. But yeah, he, I talked to him because he's going to send me some more books because I got more other books. I got, I got that Bible and it's a good Bible. Is it? I was worried because yeah. I didn't know what she was saying. She was like, yeah. I don't know what I will do. That's a good one. It's a really good one. And it's then, the study Bible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has like all the cross references and stuff like that in it. So okay, like, yeah, that's what I told her to get. Yeah. And then, because that's why I tore a card to tell you yesterday that I got like five books, and everybody's like, who got all those books? And I was like, I don't know. And then they all came to me, and I was like, yay. <laughs> was that but, the right dictionary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already used it and wrote down a bunch of the words that I had to change in my book. Okay. Stuff like that. So, what are you doing? Nothing. I don't know how work this morning. And I came to get my nail. Oh, yeah. You still didn't mm -hmm. get any? No. All right, then I'll just resend it back out tomorrow. I'll have to have him come do that thing again. Oh, no, I actually have a copy because I made two copies. I just have to send you that copy and hope that one don't get lost. Okay. What's wrong? Not that I'm tired. How'd you, how'd you get there? I took Charlotte's car. Oh. Got okay. you. She'll work? No, she's off. She still got the little red car. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. You didn't tell me you got you went Black Friday shopping. Yeah, not really. They didn't have nothing. <sighs> no. And Brenda sent me money for it, and then she told me she was like, "Get the thing you need." So I got a pair of jeans because I'm having a thing. Then she just called me and yelled at me on the phone for using the money to go shopping. Like, she literally told me not purpose she gave it to me, but okay. Wait, she, but that's not what she told me. She told me she told you to go shopping. Yeah, I know, but then she just yelled at me on the phone for shopping. She said, I did, she yelled at you and said she told you not to go shopping. She was like, see, now you have to pay your rent and you spend your money on shopping. So it was like, you literally told me to. I didn't ask you to do that. You literally told me to, so whatever. I just say ignored her. Yeah, she probably was going to do some bipolar stage right then. Because she was like, yeah, I wanted her to go shopping, not sitting on the rent. And I was like, oh, okay. That's why I thought it was like, okay. <laughs> I swear mm -hmm. that's what she said to me. And I was like, oh, all right then. Yeah, well, she know how to me, so. Did you pay your rent? No. Well, she told me on the phone you did. No. Hmm. She told me on the phone. She was like, yeah. She was like, I already have somebody check on it. She paid it. No, she's a liar. <laughs> well, she be, I never know if she be storing or not. Well, you, you didn't get your paycheck? I mean, my paychecks now are even less because they cut hours because of COVID. Oh, I got you. So everyone only works like two days a week. Mm. All right. Oh, my hands are freezing. All righty then. Well, I was with my dad. Oh. Yeah. Reach out to you this weekend. If you don't, then you just gotta remind him. I talked to him and Sandy last night, and they were like, "No problem. I'll give you some money." Okay. All right, then. You're right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. 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 So happy early and, birthday. If I don't talk to and, her. And, and Mr. Benny said hi and bye. Hi, and happy she early said birthday. happy early birthday. Alrighty. <laughs>
Hi, Mr. Beanie. Go to the game. My mom said hi. Go to the game. Drink a banana <laughs> roll for me. Drink a banana roll. Mm. <laughs> All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we jumped through those two calls instead of just one, just because that one with um, Kenny was not a ton, and I didn't have a ton to say about it. But what do you you guys have any thoughts after that one, or what do you think? Well, first of all, Leti nobody should be telling Letitia that 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 they have a life insurance policy on anybody, frankly, especially not Harley. Um. Yeah. And again, this again, now we're back to anti Aunt B. Aunt B in the doghouse again, y'all. I'm listen, this is what I imagine took place. I imagine that Aunt Brenda and Harley had a conversation about Christmas shopping. And Aunt Brenda told Harley, you can do a little Christmas shopping, but remember you have to pay rent. That's probably the most likely scenario. And Harley's 18 and overspent. And now she don't have rent. Yeah, Fortunately for Harley, they're not evicting people during this time. So yep, you're exactly right. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like everything is about what can I get out? I, I don't know. I feel like, do you have calls to just check on your family, see how they're doing, like see what's going on with their life? And because a lot of it is just her telling Harley what's going on in the jail, you know, and, and all those types of things and, and not really what are you doing besides, you know, the plans for her life <clears throat> well right and also how is it that harley needs money for groceries too like i i, I leticia just milks everybody for everything i think yep. she thinks if they if she asks for money for harley that they'll take pity and send her money too i i don't know because it sounds so disingenuous there's always an ulterior motive with tasha lynn so yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. Hey, Melissa Strange and Melissa Jade put at one part. She's like, Bendy, I can hear you wanting to unmute right now and <laughs> give your thoughts or something. It was funny. She's um, just an, uh, Letitia's bull. I, I just have my tolerance level for her BS gone down. Like le, le, when we had a little break between October and November calls, it's what I needed to reset, but back to back to back to back. Letitia on Letitia on Letitia is a little too much for Bindi Lou Who. Yeah. Agree. What do you think, Curious Jen? Uh, I was thinking the only the only thing that really stuck out that I feel like needs to, to happen over me eating ice cream because that's what I was mm -hmm. doing before I unmuted. Um, <laughs> is the way that Letitia calls it that thing online, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't use the words life insurance or insurance policy really. Um, but you know, whenever she's asking about it, it's that thing online, yeah. you know? And, um, I found it interesting when she was talking to her dad that she tells him Harley's waiting on her report. Letitia's retirement money and then he immediately brings out the life insurance which I thought was weird I mean for a second I was like god is this a pretext call I mean I mean is he trying to find out about this because I know that Letitia's big problem with Katrina is that Katrina was telling her attorneys about this money she's got coming in I don't know it was weird I uh, yeah it wasn't the most insightful comment but <laughs> no, I noticed actually a few people commenting that in the chat when it was happening. Um, the way that she like spoke around it. I don't remember mm -hmm. exactly what they said, but basically the same kind of thing. Mm. Okay. Well, are you guys ready to keep going so you can see how far we can get? Sure. Definitely. Okay. Hello? Hey. Are you already in the car driver? Yeah. How much do you have uh, towards your rent? Um. Well, my rent was four eighty, and the utilities were a hundred. Um. But someone sent me a hundred. Who sent you a hundred? Aunt Katrina's sister. Her sister. K. 
Kaylin or something? Maybe it wasn't her sister. Oh, her daughter. Oh, okay. I was like, huh? And then, how much do you have, like, with her, the hundred, you have a hundred some dollars left on shopping? Um, yeah, like, I gotta see what the right cash is. It was on my cash. Yeah, I have uh, one fifty. I have one fifty in my cash app. That was that's from Kaylin and what you had left. Mhm. Mm All right, you have to pay your rent by tomorrow, right? Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, can you text me, Brenda? And I don't want you to do it driving though. But text controller can she answer her phone? Okay. Did it say, hey, mom, um, can she? I might have stopped, you, like, it said, mom, are, you, are you available? She should be. I'm a, she's in the car. She's in the car. I talked to her earlier. You talked to her earlier? Yeah, like, right before I got to the CD's house, because that's when she called and yelled at me about spending the shopping money. Well, that might be why she's not answering the phone. She might think that she told me that. Huh? I said she might think that she told me that or something. I'm, if you, she yelled at you, she says it might be why she's not well, answering. She didn't, she didn't like yell. Like, it wasn't like nothing like serious. I was just like, she was like, but it's whatever, you know. It's but, a lot. Uh, she, she was like, but it's whatever. Like, she changed subject. Like, it was not like. It was nothing like big. She just made a statement, but I always just knew she was being, you know, petty about. I'm just trying to think of what to do. You were, oh, I didn't know. Did you send it to her? Yeah, I just sent it to her. All right. So y'all only work like two days, you said, right? Yeah, I haven't told her that yet because I'm not trying to hear her say, well, you need to get another job. No, no, no. no. I'm like, How are you getting one? Walking? Exactly. And she thinks she's like, well, you and your friend... You guys should go get a job somewhere else. I'm like, first of all, even if we did do that, like, they're not going to give us the same hours. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, second of all, Charlotte doesn't need to get a second job. I don't know where you were from and all, but what your head is thinking, but... I mean, Harley, the only thing I know is, is Amy's offer for you to stay with her. I mean, Mom, don't, don't cry. It's going to be fine. I mean, I know you don't want to stay in Charleston, but it's probably going to be your only option, really. This when you get that other money, you can just get yourself something to drive. Mm -hmm. So 
because I don't know anywhere else because we have the dogs. I mean, unless here is them. Hello? Because, I mean, what do you, you can't just tell them tomorrow you don't have it. Mom, because I work there, they're not going to care if I don't pay it tomorrow. No, but you're, you think it's just going to come the next week? It's all working but two hours? What did you say? But if y'all only work in two hours, honey, I mean, that's not, that's not even enough to, two, like, to do it. Two days. I know, it's a two days. days. You know what I'm going to say. But that's only, that's only for a certain amount of time. It's only till December 18th. Well, um, I would just make sure you text my dad, like, wait till later on, because it's already, let's see, it's 425 there. So just um, text my dad and um, just say, hey, mom said that you could reach out for, um, you would reach out to me this weekend. I want to make sure you have my number or something like that. Okay. And uh, I'll call you tomorrow and ask you if you talk to him, and then if not, um, I'll call him tomorrow, but I talked to him and Sandy both. And um, if he asks you, just say, just just tell him, say, hey, um, you know, because he might ask you, do you, do you need anything or something? Just say, I mean, I only still only have a little bit of money towards my rent. Okay. All right. So go ahead and like wait a little bit and take him and then go from there, okay? It ain't been right back. Okay. Um, no, she didn't. Okay. All right, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey. Okay. So, um, curious, Jen, can you tell me, do I have two calls in between this and the unknown male, Aunt Brenda, then Harley? Because I have it inside, but I didn't bring it outside with me. Yeah. So, call number seven is going to be Aunt Brenda for 14 minutes and 36 seconds. And then there's one with Harley, but it's only two minutes, two and a half minutes. Okay. So we're going to try to get through those. Do you have any quick okay. thoughts, guys, on this? Um, because I really do want to hear that so bad. Yeah, no, I say go for it. Okay. Awesome. I'm trying to keep it like at two hours, but, you know, yeah. if it's a minute or two over, it'll, it'll be close to right at two hours. Um, Bendy, do you have any thoughts? No. -uh. Well, I've seen you unmute, then remute. Sounds like... <laughs> Um, okay. Well, I don't and have any. I was not going to say anything because you wanted to play. So go play it. There's, I mean, I don't, there's not really anything to say about that call. They're just right. working the system, working people, you know? Yep. That's right. What about you, Miss Curious Jen? No, I say go for it. Okay. Let's go. Hey. What are you doing? Um, I was outside raking the yards. I oh. just walked in the house. I was going to let you know before you heard it from somebody else. I'm going to have Harley go stay with um Miss Amy because um she you won't have, with, with Miss Amy because she won't have to pay nothing there. So um I was going to let you know first so that way you didn't get it like secondhand or whatever. But um well, you know what you know what I'm glad because you know what Tisha Lynn I've tried my best to get her to go stay with either Miss B or Miss Amy or somebody because. That rent that place is ridiculous. Well, she can't stay with Dee, or she would if she had. If she didn't have the dog, she could. And then I wouldn't be having this conversation. You see what I'm saying? It's just that their dog doesn't do well with other dogs. You see what I'm saying? Well, I know. I've been there before, and noticed that. And she's got cats too. Yeah, well, because her daughter's not at campus, so they got that cat there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm probably not gonna be able to get it to happen until to see. Well, Harley says she's gonna tell them that. Um, because she can't, she hasn't paid her, her December rent. So she's going to have to tell them, like, hey, she'll go ahead and do it. But they cut her hours to two days a week. Now, see, Harley's telling you all this. She she didn't tell me none well, of that. Well, I told her not to tell you that because I told her I would call you and tell you this. But I was waiting for her to, like, I was waiting to find out about the whole situation with Amy first before I, before I told you whatever. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so they worked like two days, and she said that, you know, like with the COVID and stuff like that, that 
pretty much just what everybody's doing, but they don't qualify to get any what's called because they weren't working enough hours already. Um, and it's getting worse in South Carolina places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, it's getting worse around here too. So that was another thing I worried about, Harley. Not wearing a mask. I broke on her several times by not having a mask on. Yeah. Well, and they're, they're mean, mandatory. Yeah, they're Brenda, they don't, it, you get it. Most people our age are going to be asymptomatic anyway. So, I mean, what immune systems and stuff like that, that's why they're not worried too much about, they're worried about the older people who get it. Because that's who doesn't have the rest yeah, of The young people are getting it too. I know, me, we, they're had dying. we had 900 people here and nobody mm -hmm. died here. In the whole facility, 911. Now, where does this Amy live? Uh, Charleston. Um, An apartment or house? Uh, well, it's her. She's got roommates and stuff, but I mean, she'll make it work. Um, Is it an apartment or a house? No, it's a house, but um, she like rents all the rooms out. You know what I mean? So um, I'll just have to figure out that. But I, got, I told Amy, I'm going to call Amy back later on, maybe tomorrow or whatever. Because, I mean, she'll be gone. Amy will be gone for a while for her holidays. She'll be gone uh, to her mom's house, which is in Ohio. So um, I'm going to talk to her about it for being for, like, January or whatever. Or afterwards, which uh, she would just have to come down and get Harley. And then uh, help her take the stuff or whatever, which would be fine or whatever, because... I've known Amy for years. Um, like I said, she could be at DD's if it weren't for, you know, they have the little dogs and the cats and stuff like that. If it wasn't for that, you know, that's where she'd be at. But, um, so yeah, I was going to tell you first, but that's why I told Harley, don't say anything to you because I was going to tell you. So that way you didn't, like, you know, have to be like, oh, I heard it from somebody else or, you know. Nobody don't never tell me nothing. I never, nobody don't never call and tell me nothing. I don't never know nothing. So it, nobody wouldn't have told me no way. Well, I mean, I don't, know, I, don't know what, I don't know what my mom has to do with this because I, I don't talk to her anyway. So, I well, I didn't say your mom. I said none of them don't talk to me no way. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't have yeah. found out unless you were, or yeah. I went down there and Harley was gone. Yeah. Um, Harley needs to send me that woman's address and stuff too. Um, and when that woman's out of town and stuff like that. Yeah. When I asked Harley about spending Christmas holidays here. Yeah. Well, and if she she's said, got, huh? She said that you got upset with her because you told her to go shopping, and then you said you. I told that. her to take the two hundred dollars and go shopping for Black Friday to get her some clothes for school. That's exactly what I told her to do. But she said you. That's what I told her to do. Huh? She said you made a comment earlier today or something. No, I asked her did she spend all her money on clothes. And didn't she think that she should have saved a little bit for rent or whatever? Well, she did. She's got a hundred. I mean, that's that's what I that's yeah. what I asked. Yeah. You know, I mean, you you got bills. You know, bills are coming, and you need to put you a little bit to the side to pay your bills. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. No. I. She's got. She's got a hundred fifty of it. Um, and see, that's what I was. That's what I was trying to tell Harley. You know, use it wisely. Yeah. You got bills coming up, Harley. And yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I've been paying our rent and all for her and all and looking out. And I love Harley to death. Do anything in the world for either one of you. Yeah. But I, I just couldn't, I just can't keep paying that kind of money every month. Yeah, I understand. And and I, I love Harley do anything in the world for her. And like I told Harley, you're going to get your car back. I'm going to give her her car back. This is her car. I'm going to give her her car back. She will have transportation. She's going to need transportation. Yeah. But Harley's got to have some type of supervision. Yeah. She, she's always had it, and she she's never been without it, and she needs supervision. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to lie to you. That baby needs supervision. She needs somebody to be around her that can advise her. She don't need to be around teenagers telling her what to do. Yeah, I know. But yeah, we talked about that. I agree with you on that. I mean, because, I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, of course, I'd rather. I don't, I don't prefer to like Charleston because it's the hood. <laughs> you know, because Amy used to live in Mount Pleasant, but she don't live there anymore. They both in Charleston, so it's the hood. So yes. Yeah, so. Now, if if you want her to move to Charleston, if you want her to move to Charleston, 
okay, my cousin Elsie's kids, doctors and lawyers and stuff, they would love to have Harley in their home. And they don't live in the hood down there either, girlfriend. Let me tell you what. I've been to their houses. I mean, I know, they I have cooks. Like come, <laughs> well, their cooks come. To, they have cooks to come to their house to cook. Yeah, well, then they don't I live mean, in Charleston. They live in Daniels Island, probably, or Mount Pleasant. They live, one lives in Mount Pleasant. Yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, and Gary, Gary lives in Mount Pleasant. Beautiful home. Beautiful yeah, home. And, and I mean, if, if Harley thinks she don't want to stay with, hey, Gary would be glad. He's got extra room. He'd be glad to take her and put her under his wings, him and his wife. Their kids are grown and they're doctors and lawyers. Yeah, but she's got dogs in good now. We're not getting rid of the dogs, and I'm not getting rid of my dog. <laughs> so that's why I said to Amy's, and I trust Amy with everything. So, But I got to still talk to Harley about it more, you know, because then that's. She, she can't go to school at Coastal, you see what I'm saying? But I did tell her to look into the NC Ready schools, but then the problem with that is she would need somewhere to stay. So, at what time? Like the NC Ready schools, like in Charlotte and places like that. I told her to look into the NC Ready schools because, you know, they give you a uh, – they had that grant going where they give you um, in-state – Now, if Harley, if Harley goes to Charlotte, she can stay with my sister-in-law, Juan. Yeah. Juan stays in a nice place. She don't stay in the hood. Yeah. And Juan works hard, and Juan's brother stays next door where Brother John L. is. Yeah. And that's a, that's a nice, and, you know, Brother John L. dead, and that would be a lot of company for Juan. Yeah. I mean, to have Harley there, and, and Harley could pay her a little bit of rent, and, and Juan's got plenty of rooms. she got two bathrooms and bedrooms, and she loves dogs. Yeah. Now, she loves well, dogs. She just loves the, her dogs. I told her to look into the NC Ready School. So I just need her... Um, I called my dad and asked him would he give her a hundred dollars, and he said he would. So that would get her at two fifty. So I told her, I said, we'll figure out the rest of it for December. How much more does she need? I guess she needs. I don't know how much it is. She's got a hundred fifty. My dad says to give her a hundred tomorrow, and then that you way. You will. I, no, that's what he told me. Now, I mean, Brenda, you know how that goes. I told him I'd call him back tomorrow, and. I told I'll tell you what, I got that chat, got that cash app thing and put it on my phone and I'm going to send Harley, I'm going to send Harley $400. I don't know how much shorter she's going to be. Do you? No, that should probably be it because the utilities are 100 and how much is the thing? 480 So that should be just right. And then she knows about the application. When I call her back, by Sunday, she's supposed to have the application done and submitted. She knows that. And I said, Harley. And she needs to do that food enough. stamp thing, too. That's, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. I said, Harley, you know, I know enough people that all I'd have to do was ask somebody to text somebody and they could tell me if you're doing it or not. Because I used to work there. And she said, Yeah, that, that lady, that lady's son had dinner with me. Yeah. And, yep. and, and, and that's who she Harley needs to get with if she has any questions. Yeah. Because her son comes and eats with me a lot. Yeah. Whose son? The lady you work with at the Department of Social oh, Service? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her son comes here and has dinner with me sometimes on Wednesday. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Because he goes to Primrose College and I met oh. him. And he, he, was here, he was here one day having dinner with me and I was showing him Harley was on FaceTime. Uh-huh. And Harley seen him and Harley said, I know you. And they started talking and, and come to find out you and his mom work together. What's his name? He was a black young boy. Rush on. Yeah, I love Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Green, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, because yeah, he does. He so, wrestles at Pembroke. Yeah, he comes here. Yeah, he does. He does. He comes here. He comes and eats with Aunt Brenda. He calls me Aunt Brenda. Yep. That's why I said, Harley has any questions or needs any help, that's who she needs to call is his mom. Because yeah. I'm good to her son. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, and I've worked with her long enough to know. Yeah, and I believe she would help Harley any way she could, too. Yeah. But anyway, make a long story short, you're on a time frame here. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and send Harley $400. Okay. And I know, and then Christmas holidays, if Harley's not working or anything like that, and she's got her rent paid for December. Yeah. 
What she needs to do, if she wants to move on down to Miss C, that's fine too. You know, I have no issues and no problems with that. Yeah, but well, I would, that would be my obvious choice, obviously. But the problem is, like I said, with the whole situation with animals, you know what I'm saying? And Harley needs to have, like, you know, the whole emotional support with, with the animal. And that helps her a lot with the therapy instead of having resorting to taking medicines and things like that. That's why I never took that mess because I always had an animal. You know, you look how you treat Trader, you know? But, um, yes, we're just laying up here in front of me now like a little sick puppy. Yeah. Hey, but anyway, I'm going to spend their $400. All right. Thank you. And, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll be working look, on this stuff for next month. If, if, if she's going to go stay with Miss Amy, that's fine. I have no issues with that. And I'll help Harley out some. Yeah. I, Harley needs to get her a job where she can make a little extra money. Yeah, yeah. She'll get one there. But the problem, like I said, is she'll have to have, you know, her transportation and stuff. But then what she'll do is, like, just put all that money up. Give She, she wants, like, you know, she'll just have to give Amy a little bit on her increase of utilities. You know what I mean? And, of course, her food and stuff. And then, then she could be given, you know, start working on giving you some. You see what I'm saying? But then because she won't well, have, I'm, that, she won't I'm have not, that big not, grant. I'm not worried so much about mine. I'm worried about Harley. Yeah. Harley's going to have Harley's gonna have to step down a little bit. You know, and start well, she learning has, she how has to... been, She has been eating at home, and it's a process, you know, of doing it. But like you said, it's not really that she don't know better, because she does. She, we didn't live like that. It's she just, just like, it's she like you said, it's supervision. Peer pressure. Yeah, it's because, peer pressure. Like she said on the phone, she's like, Mom, she's like, I will get another job, but I don't have a way. She's like, and Charlotte's not getting another job. They don't have to. They're rich. Well, yeah, I, I told know. her when she, I told her. Well, hey, I told her when she got that car to get her another part-time job. Mm-hmm. I said, Harley, this is a good time for you to get another part-time job and make you some extra money. Yeah. And she didn't want to listen. They ain't Brenda. And that's why I tried to break her like I'm trying to break her. To yeah. Let her know, you got to work. I'm 68 years old and I still work. Yeah, I know. You have one okay. minute remaining. Yeah, I know you got to go, and I love you and everything and all, and I'll, 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 I'll send you the money now, okay? I didn't get my other book, but when I get it, I'll let you know, and then I'll work okay. on doing that for next month, but I'm going to have her. She's got to look in the NC Ready thing, because if she wanted to go to school in Charlotte, because she said she liked Charlotte, that'd be something we could look into. Yeah, and I don't okay. mind moving to Charlotte. I moved to Charlotte in a heartbeat. All right. Oh, you would? I would right. move to Charlotte. But then she'd probably do that then. So she's supposed to be looking up those schools, so NC Ready schools, because they give her in-state tuition, even though she's out of state. Okay, okay. all right. Tell, all her right. To, tell her to look into it. I'm moving okay. to Charlotte. All right, love you. All right, love you, baby. All right, bye. bye. Hello. Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing with Naya. Oh, it's her birthday, ain't it? Hmm? Ain't it her birthday coming up? Yeah. What day is it on? Couple in a couple days. Yeah, I remember that. And the mm-hmm. exact day, but I remember it was coming up. Yeah. Who won the game? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it hasn't finished. Oh, because I'm gonna start it at three thirty. No, I think it's it's only at five some, didn't it? Oh, it started at four thirty. Yeah, our time three thirty, I guess maybe. Okay. Um. I just remember I think three thirty somewhere, but yeah, you're right. That would have been this time, so I have to thirty. Naya said hi. Hi Naya. She said hi Naya. Happy birthday. She said happy early birthday. She said thank you. Where are y'all headed? Nothing. We were just at oh, Ulta. Well, I went to go take my clothes to Plato's closet and I went to Ulta. Cool. Cool, cool. You had clothes to take to play those? Mm-hmm. You're tired of wearing them. Well, they were like old clothes. Yeah, did they take them? Um, well, I guess they had a long wait. So, like, I dropped them off like two hours ago. Oh. They're still not, they're still not done. Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll let y'all go have fun. When I call you on Monday, do you go to work Monday? Uh, I have no idea. I think so, but I should be able to answer my phone. Okay, well, I'm just saying, like, I need you to write stuff down so I could follow up with you that you were going to work on it because you didn't look up none of the other stuff. 
You didn't message you him? Told me to wait. You told me to wait and to see if he talks to me today. Oh, okay. Okay. I did. I did. Did you get money from Aunt Brenda? Yeah, she sent it to me. Okay. Well, whenever you get the money from my dad, it says it'd be to help pay that thing to online because you can't let that lapse, okay? Okay. So message him. Okay. Alrighty. Love you. Talk to you later. Okay. Love you too. Okay, so before we get into our last call for tonight, and then <clears throat> tomorrow we'll be on Jen Lou's channel, I do want to discuss these two calls right here. Um, I have a lot of, I feel for Harley during these moments. I can't help it when I hear uh Ah, it's just frustrating here and her and Brand Brenda, even with the, with the shopping thing, right? She's 18 years old. Like if I'll tell you what, I spent money I shouldn't have spent at 18. And more than that, I was like, I feel like she's doing pretty good. I don't know. It's a little frustrating though. How do you guys feel? Uh, it's, I, it's hard for me to, to, to really like, I don't, I don't have a good, um, scale to compare her to, because honestly, I, when I was 18, I had a kid. So like my learning curve was a lot, I had, it, it was a lot different and I didn't, um, I like, I, I had to make it, you know what I mean? I didn't have, um, my parents are the type of parents, like if it was like a serious emergency, emergency they would bail me out. What they would do is they would get whatever the kid, the kids needed nothing for, do you see what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't pay rent or anything like that. They would right. say, well, the kids can come stay with us, something like that. That's how my parents were. So I didn't have like that safety net. So it's hard for me, um, to really, I mean, kids have to look at the end of the day, everything sounds different, but if kids don't have consequences, they won't learn. So uh, it's hard because Harley's consequences, I mean, Jesus, her mom's in jail for the murder of her stepson. Like, I want to yeah. cut her some slack. Yeah. Well, I mean, see, when I was 18, I was just so immature. I, it wasn't until I was like 25, but I also was partying and stuff. So I think there's another element in there with that. Um, because there are moments when I have to have no sympathy for her. When she says or does little things, it just like... It, uh, uh, the collected money from whoever sent her that hundred dollars. Um, there are little things where I have the opposite feel. You know, I feel not sorry for her, no sympathy for her. But then again, I think about it, and I'm just like, damn. And I don't know. It's just it's it would, hard. Yeah, it it's is. Hard. And it would be really tough to not be in control, like of those decisions for your life, what college you're going to go to. I was just talking to Trenton about this because where we went shopping, there's a big college, um, East Carolina University. It's huge. It's very nice. And I was like, you should, you should look at this school because it's only going to be a few years and it's not too far. It's really nice. I just, um, I would never try to decide that for him. I think it's really important that you let them make some of those decisions. Jen, you know, you're going through it right now, you know, so yeah, I don't have to let them. You have to, even though you have, you're like, you know, but you got to let them do it because it's, it's how they learn. I mean, look, before I was 18, I moved out at 17. So I lived on my own for a whole year before I was an adult and I worked and I paid my bills. I paid my rent. And you know what? If I decided to spend too much on partying, I usually had to like that went and in, cut into the grocery fund. Nothing ever touched the partying and going out fund. I would just not eat. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, but I, you know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I, I just, I, I don't think that they should, you know, I mean, we see that they're trying to control every single thing that Harley does, but in the end, it's not going to happen. We all know how it turns out, but still, it's got to be frustrating for Harley. Yeah. And, and, and Aunt Brenda, Aunt Brenda, did I miss something, ma'am? Did did you get legal guardianship over Harley or something? Like, why are you writing background checks? 
Where does she live? Is that a house or is it an apartment? Listen, ain't, listen, ain't B. I mean, I do agree that she can't, that um, ideally Harley should have somebody older and wise, um, like mentor her on her own. But the, at the end of the day, if she were like, if this was a, a, a normal scenario, and I don't even like that word, but let's say Carl, let's say Letitia wasn't in jail. Let's say Harley went off to college. Who do you think that she'd be around? A bunch of kids, 18, 19, 20, 21. Though, right. Those would be her mentors. You know, you got to learn how to, you got to let your kids swim a little bit. I mean, you know, like, look, if, if Minnie Bindi called me tomorrow and, you know, something happened, you know, I'd be the first one right there. You know, right. but she'd be getting well, a lecture, you know. Um, Michelle says, no, I'm not feeling bad for age other than what her mother has done. But I was working two jobs at 18, paying my own rent and all expenses. No one was paying for me. She's disrespectful and ungrateful. So I can see I could see all of your guys's perspective. It's I don't know. It's she really is like she is like that. She's 18. So are there times when Harley is ungrateful and disrespectful? Yes. Are there times where um she takes a rash of shit from her mom. Also, yes. And then you feel bad for those moments when, you know, Letitia is being Letitia. Yeah. Right. You know, so it, it, I don't think it's all or nothing. I think it's a combination of all of it, you know, like, and I go through various eye rolling stages and then, oh man, you know, with, with Harley, yeah. it's, you know, it too. is what it is. I do too. What about you, Curious Jen? <clears throat> I am glad that you made it to the call that you wanted to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> me too. Um, and by the way, let me just say, I feel bad because I, I feel really bad. I was trying to kind of get done by nine. I know Melissa has pushed back her live and she's talking about the jail files and pushed it back and pushed it back. So I have linked her live for tonight in the chat and I'm going to link it while we're listening to this last call. Um, Cause that's after this. So thank you, Melissa, for doing that. And I know she's like, no, just you, I'm, I like being here. Just keep going. But still, I want to say thank you. And I appreciate that. And oh, wow. Thank you, Melissa. Sorry about that, babe. Yeah, I, I might have to drop off. So don't be alarmed. If I do have to drop off, I might have to. Okay, bye. Okay. okay. Well, if you do, do you have any thoughts about this or go before we go into this next call? This last Oh, no, call no, no. I'll okay. go for it. So it's just unknown male is all we know, correct? All right, here we go. Okay. Hello? Hi. Hi. What are you doing? You know, just looking at my my view of the mountains, hanging out, you know. Yeah, I was wondering when you're going to call me back. Well, you don't have a, you got the 719 number, so, you know, it costs extra, and I'll be using it on my daughter, so I was like, well. Oh, yeah, well, I'm going to have to put some money on the phone then. Yeah, I was like, oh, you know, because last time, I don't know why they charge that fee. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, just because you got a local number. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I'm going to, you know, yeah, no, it's, yeah. What'd you say? Uh, I'm not even so you're kicking back. Oh, how's Alex Rodriguez doing? Huh? How's Alex Rodriguez doing? Oh, you're doing good. Doing real good. Yeah. You know, living yeah. the dream. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we're fucking on fucking quarantine over here, man. It sucks, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So they, you they like stay there the whole time? So we have to stay here, yeah, until they lift it off. I'm working, I'm working, I, I, like, I got a job, everything, you know what I mean? But fucking, since they did this, like, yeah, we had to go on lockdown. Oh, wow, that sucks. So you just have to tell me yeah. cook you there. Yeah. yeah. Well, then, and then I tested positive for that fucking stupid-ass COVID shit, so, I mean, because I could have got a note from my doctor, I mean, not from my doctor, but from my job, saying that I'm an essential worker or whatever. Yeah. And I would have been able to still go to work, but since I tested positive for that um, COVID shit, they, yeah, I had to be on quarantine. Uh, yeah, when I was at the yeah. phone with you, I don't know if all the phones went out last time. Oh, really? Like the cord, like I, I moved, like I turned around and moved back, and when I did, it pulled the cord out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I had to lock down anyway, so. So how you doing? You doing okay? I mean, you know, yeah. for the most part? Yeah. yeah. Beat this girl up. Did you? No way. Yeah, like, okay, so someone had them pop the lock because they were out, and she came in there, and she tried to uh, talk drunk or whatever, and I just waited. And I just kicked her across the neck and popped her in the right. side of her yeah. face. 
Uh-huh. When they when they walked in there, they was like, "What happened?" I was like, "She slipped on the water. She had in her hand." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they knew yeah. better, obviously, but you know, I just laughed it off. Are you sure? Yeah. Was, when did that happen? Like last week, sometime. I yeah. remember talking to you. I was like, man, I'm about to tell Alex about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I miss you, bro. I miss you too, man. Oh, man, dude. I mean, like, 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 for real. We got some uh-huh. rowdy people above us, man. But I'm hoping they move out soon because they're getting on my nerves. Yeah? Yeah, because we're back in A2. Oh, you guys are in A2? Yeah, we're back in A2. And they got the Bravo yeah. people above us and Charlie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and they moved Charlie to Delta now. Oh, really? Yeah, because we were in Delta. So as soon as we moved out of Delta, they moved Charlie to Delta. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are they are they still are they still doing that to the all the doors or what? Yeah. So like, so well, you know, Charlie already had metal doors, right? Yeah. Uh, and so did um, I think so did somebody else, Bravo, but. We got the new doors, like, that were in Delta. Oh, okay. With, with the big windows, where everybody yeah. kept the same doors. They just got the, the boxes installed. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Um, they still got, like, yeah. Bravo, Bravo dudes beside us. So, you know, they were running around their turtle suit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you have to be out of there, or do you have to be out of uh no, we actually uh, we're uh, we're in fucking well, I'm in a four man you know, but yeah, there's four of us in there. Oh, so you'll have to wait to this whole thing before you come out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, before we get to leave the actual fucking facility, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. I mean, we can come out of our door and shit, and you know what I mean. But we can't really. We're not supposed to be around all the other people. But there's like over twenty dudes got that shit already here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. So it's like you know. It's, it's not gonna fucking do it. You're it's not, not gonna. Do it again, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'll get it again. Once I, yeah, that's what I heard. You can't get it twice or whatever. But I didn't even have no symptoms or anything. You know what I mean? Like I, like the first day, like I, I remember like someone kind of like my body hurts, you know. Yeah. And kind of had like a headache, but after that, I was good, and I didn't take sense, you know. That's what most of the people said. They didn't have it here. That's why they didn't know so many people had it here. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what about like, well, how are they doing visits and shit? Like over there, they're, like still over the phone? Oh, well, so they're holding court on WebEx, and so they're just taking out everybody in the world uh-huh. court on WebEx. And I mean, but what about the visits? Something? Can you still get? Can you, are you allowed visits yet? Well, no, I'm not allowed them yet. But the other wards are doing them. Yeah. Well, I don't want to see anybody else, but you. Know. Yeah, they won't let this here. They won't let the sport have it. No. Bravo can't have it. You know how they do. Yeah. So I've already, it's been like, um, it takes me a week already that I've been on this quarantine. So next week I should be able to, I should be able to come off of it and get back to work and stuff. And so I wish I could set up a visit so I could see you. I doubt I'll be. Well, you can check online, but I doubt it'll be on there. You can try. We've been trying that for a long time. Do you have a um? Do you have a a a, a pen and stuff you could write in over here? Yeah, I didn't know if you were allowed to get um stuff there or not. Yeah, I could, yeah no I could I can get um I can get mail they they bring that mail to our door they give us like room service right now <laughs> it's crazy oh, wow. yeah cool. right. oh I just forgot to tell you Michelle said to tell you hello and that she hopes you guys are still friends and she'll see you out there in about she she's gonna get her, her cases getting dropped. Who Michelle? Yeah. Oh yeah, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. Tell her I said fuck off. <laughs> oh, I'm not. No, no, I said hi. All right, that's nice. Yeah. Remember you had, I had this nice thing yeah, down. See, you're right. See, I, I'm changed. I don't know about this other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I miss you so much. I really do. I'm so glad that you did. I told you I was gonna fucking be a man of my word and stuff. Like I, but if you need anything else, I'm telling you too. I'm, I'll go fucking. I'll give you some money and stuff too, okay? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Like once I, I'm, I'm gonna put money on this phone. Um, that way too you can call me and then I'll just I already have money on here, you know. Um, I should download a um text now app though, huh? Probably. 
Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll um, and then next time you call me, I'll give you the number. Then you could just call me right back on it. You know? Yeah, because that way, it's probably, I think they charge like a dollar. Thank you for using Global Telling. Okay, first of all, I wish Curious Jen hadn't hung up so I could ask her, did she just hang up right there? Because do you remember on her last call with this guy? So I don't believe this is Edwin, I think. And if I'm wrong, uh, Curious Jen, correct me. But it sounds like this is the guy from the halfway house that she had that other call with. And if you remember, she just hung up on him mid sentence, like she did to her dad and curious Jen had looked and it said that the inmate hung up. So she gets on the phone with him and tells him, yeah, Oh my God. Like I moved backwards and turned around and the call just cut off. That's a lot. Well, yeah, I think, um, I think we have that same situation here because, um, if, situation where they cut her off right it would say you have one minute remaining uh -huh. but there was no timer so she just yep. hung up yes and look curious Jen said she did 100 percent hang up <laughs> <And so yeah. laughs> oh my god yeah she ain't trying to talk to him Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, Melissa's uh, link, you guys, for the chat tonight that she's having. I just dropped it, and Punksy's dropping her channel, too. Okay, what are your thoughts about that? That was just awkward and weird. Also, he sounds... Uh, what do you think? <laughs> I, it is awkward, but I, what I'm trying to figure out is... Uh, what's her angle? With him, I know. I cannot figure out what her angle is. I'm having a really hard time with that. Well, I know that one of Curious Jen's theories, and I'm not sure about particularly with him, but specifically with the Edwin and some, is that she's trying to, you know, pull them into her story about yeah. these are the people that took Gannon or were part of this that took Gannon. I mean, I don't know. It's really interesting. The I miss you. Oh, he's like, I miss you, girl. She goes, I miss you too, man. And oh, I don't know. It just made my skin is, is crawling right now. Jen. Like, oh. I like. I don't, I don't know. I feel like. Um, what a mess. She's a mess. I, I don't even know. <laughs> She's just a mess. Um, some people are saying that they think that she's doing it for money, make him miss her and send her money so she can talk to him more. Um, he's yes, in a halfway he, house. I, what kind of money is she going to get out of him? <laughs> oh I my mean, gosh. I'm not saying that's not why she's doing it, but I feel like, um, like maybe you should write Susan Smith and um, maybe she can teach you because Susan Smith's got like three or four sugar daddies she's juggling that pay for all kinds of stuff and houses. So, I mean, I don't think that's, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what else to say. I, she's so gross. I know. Um, Skyflash photographer says they give me dealer good client vibes and I definitely see that. And then for crying out loud says her angle is always what can you do for me? Um, mm, there's something to this though, you guys. There is always something to it. There is something that yes. she has in mind. Mm -hmm. Tisha has an angle. It's just about what is that angle? Oh, and what about I just the fight? Oh, sorry, Jen. <laughs> oh no, you're fine. Go ahead. What is that angle? No, you finish. I, when you finish that, I sentence. can't figure out what the angle is. That's all. I'm trying to figure it out. And I've, I hope, I mean, I don't know what we have because I haven't listened to any of December. So, um, but I see by the timestamp, we don't, we're like halfway through the calls, like time wise. Yeah. Well, I think that there's three hours and 30 minutes. So, um, if um, we get through, like, actually, it would be, if we could do an hour and a half tomorrow. That would be it. An hour and I know. Wait, am I right? Yeah. Or I don't know. But yeah, which we already have ordered January. But um yeah, we're already almost halfway through. And this was only two hours, sixty minutes. So we'll get through them pretty quickly. Could almost do it all tomorrow. I know. Um, yeah, so what about the fight that she claims that she had? Thank you, Pitbull, because I wanted to ask that too. Um 
Man, I'm going to have to look into that because I don't believe that she did not, n- nothing like that. First of all, she's not allowed to be with anybody. That's Let's start there. All right. She's not a, at this point in time. She's not allowed to have a, a Selly. And they watch Letitia like a hawk. You think that yeah. if she actually did something like that, we'll have to check the jail files. But I, yeah, I, I need feel to like if on my I feel like. Yeah, I feel like if we had, I feel like we would have remembered that. That seems like something that would stand down. I don't know. Well, there were a few incidents, but nothing to, like what she just described there that I remember. Well, right, I remember that's, back. Yeah. She Thank you, Elena. Look. Thank you. Aw. She, look, let's be real here. Letitia ain't fought nobody. Stop playing. Letitia picks on kids, on kids. Letitia picks on little 11 year old boys and eight year old girls. Okay. She ain't fighting. That's really, that sounds really trashy. She's not <laughs> fighting a, uh, a grown woman. She's not, you know, she's not, I mean, you know, she might try, like if somebody were to like, I can see Letitia fighting back, but I don't see Letitia being the aggressor. Mm-mm. No. Wow. No, she's not. Um, yeah. That is so interesting. I agree with you. I don't see her doing I could see. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, there are times where she runs her mouth back and stuff like you said, but um, I think she's a lot more bark than she is bite. I just do. Yeah. Patricia yeah. says you can't say sugar daddy as it's not gender neutral. It's glucose guardian now. Well, thank you for oh. the info. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then Bunny says, I think she just likes attention from whoever. And then, well, Melissa is doing the jail files now, and she's just started them. So remember tonight when you guys are having that discussion, this is December 6th. So, um, yeah, I'm going to drop that link again. And then, Jen, what time are you thinking for tomorrow? Do you know? Um, Well, we'll probably need to do it around your schedule um, because I know everybody's back to school. So what do you think, eight? We can do eight. Yeah, that's fine with me. I was going to say, yeah, that way, because like if it was just if it was over here, I I would try to do them a little earlier like we have been. But also over there, we can do eight or even nine. I'll make it work if I have to. If I just no, because yeah. here's the deal. Listen, now I love you. And I'm saying this with all the love in my cold blood. Okay. But at about 956, I can start to hear. That Allie is ready for me, niece. Allie is ready for nine night. <laughs> so in or an effort to keep you fresh, <laughs> that is so true. We're, gonna, we're gonna go with eight. Okay. I'm 50, awesome. member. I'm flexible. Yes, and thank you so much. I wonder, um, I wonder if we'll be able to finish them all. I know that we could probably get pretty close. Oh, Jesse, we love you too. Okay, so I don't want to keep you guys any longer because I know Melissa has been waiting to go on. And thank you so much, Melissa, yes. for, for pushing back. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys will go over and support her. Check her out. She's going to be talking about Letitia, the jail files. Um, here's the link again. And then um, also the two gins, as soon as this is over, I'll have their their links will be in the description. And I'm going to drop them again right now. I'm sure you're following. But just in case you're not, you definitely want to because some calls will be on gins that won't be here. And some things will be on curious gins that won't be here. So that kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you, chat. Thank you, mods. You guys are incredible. Um, sorry. Like, I, I wish that we could have these conversations and people not get upset with each other just because you feel differently. It's it's right. It's hard, I know, because we get invested, like with Watts. Remember how people used to fight mm-hmm. over their opinions with that? Over but- NK, she was the biggest one. Everybody, fight, people were very, pol- NK was really a polarizing person. You either believe that she was 100% involved or 0% involved. There were many in between. Yep, you know, I completely agree. And that's how this kind of does. People start to fight like that, you know. Um, so, you know, I just want to say, you guys, in, in the chat, it's possible that both people are right. You know, h- human beings are multifaceted. We're very rarely, ex- with the exception of Letitia, 58, okay? But most people are different things at different times. And I do think that some, it is worth mentioning that you have to keep in mind who raised her. And if 
as Harley matures, some of this stuff she will grow out of, right? And hopefully be very successful and a contributing member to society and, and break whatever cycle there is as far as that goes. And, you know, people, we don't know. It, it's very possible that Harley could at some point be listening back to these calls and hear herself and be like, oh, did I really sound like that? Or, oh, did I really say that? And that can make people change. So yeah. I'm trying to be yeah. optimistic. I hope and she does, so you know, true. but mm -hmm. but she's but young. What? I mean, 18 is very young, you yeah. know, and 18 year olds say some really stupid shit sometimes, you know, and they don't think about it. They don't they don't think long term. So let's but you guys don't shouldn't fight with each other or be mean to each other, because at the end of the day, you, I, what I would say is you guys are probably both sides of the argument are probably right because it, it at different times hardly is those things. Yeah, oh, I agree. And I don't, I don't know. Just try to remember people have different life experience and, and their perspective kind of shapes their opinions and their experience will shape their opinions. And instead of getting angry, we can learn from each other or just disagree. I mean, it's okay. I just think, yeah, I really love and appreciate all you guys. And I just want to see you guys be good to each other. Um, otherwise, thank you for being here. Thank you to the mods. Thank you, Bendy. Thank you, Curious Jen. Um, thank you, Melissa. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, yeah, chat. <laughs> I will sit here and say goodbye for like 25 minutes. So I got to end this. I love you. <laughs> oh, Allie. <laughs> no. ah, I have a headache too. I have a thumping ass headache. It's been hurting Ooh. this whole time. Mm -hmm. So, sorry. all right. I'm going to go relax, listen to MJ and unwind, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, Jen. We'll see you tomorrow on Jen's. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Bye.